a Thursday that's not Fable? What is this? Guys, welcome back in. How's it going? Aged Core, by the way, thank you so much for the reset for five months in a row. Thank you. Hi. My hair is drying right now, so I look like a swamp rat, but give it a second and it will dry up. I didn't want to delay the stream, so I was like, all right, I'm just going in with wet hair. Old Bones, welcome back in. Dr. Campino, hi. Grim, hi. Also anonymous. I know no fable today. It feels very weird. Feels kind of strange, I know. One of the mole rats. This is what I told Jess and Anna because we're getting three weeks away or three months away from our trip. And our trip, we're trying to get some sunlight. And I told them, I was like, you guys realize like we belong behind the computer. Like we're gonna go out into the sun and be like, ah, it burns us. Uh, also, Crunch and welcome in. Braun, hi, happy Thursday. Also, Swills, welcome back in. Great, how are you guys doing today? Also, I eat cake. Thank you for two months of continual support. Thank you so, not two months, two years. Ignore me. Thank you for two years of continual support and classy. Classy, who do you want to time out? Who? Tell me, tell me. Mojo, welcome back in as well. What are the plans for tomorrow? So if you guys saw down below, uh, <laughs> Zen did change the time. Tomorrow is cyberpunk, but it is actually starting at 12. So I actually moved it back kind of like a lot, like a lot, a lot, like almost five hours earlier, I guess four hours earlier. But yeah, I thought I would do like a way earlier stream, kind of 12 to five o'clock, probably five or six ish. We'll see what happens. But because I normally do an EU stream on Saturday, I just felt like I wanted Friday to also represent an EU stream. I know, I know a lot of you guys are working this, by the way. It was awesome having you talk at the book club last night as well. And also Flynn, thank you for the Hunter bits as well. I just came in. What did I miss? Nothing. And Yanks. <laughs> Pon <laughs> Pon. Oh man. Do we bring Pon Pon back for like one moment? I don't know. Ray, welcome back in as well. I know. I'm sorry. I know some of you guys are going to be at work. Also, Ben. Ben, welcome back in. How's it going? Machu, hi. Nilman. It's going to be more of an EU friendly stream. I know. I'm sorry. Big man, welcome back in as well. Hopefully, it tips into the evening just a little bit so that some of you guys are be like able to be there. And Holly. Holly, thank you so much for five months of continual support. I'm going to turn this up for a second yeah thank you so much and welcome back in thank you for almost a half a year of support and classy you got to tell me who i feel like i already know but you got to tell me also kennedy welcome in i'm recovering from pneumonia so i can finally watch your streams oh my gosh i've had like a horrible pneumonia before i've been there i know how it feels i'm glad to hear it sounds like you're on the mend um and welcome in i see it's your first time popping in here uh pneumonia is the worst also jaku jokoi thank you for the follow welcome in and anon thank you for the gifted sub to king and also to jack if you're fine with it i'm gonna call you jack if that's okay and c winter thank you so much for the 100 bits as well kevin kevin what do you mean nope I'll make it to the next book club this time. No worries. The book club is not meant to make you guys feel like you're missing out on anything or make you feel any pressure. That goes for me. Like, I don't even hold myself to reading every single book. It's just impossible. It's kind of meant to just be this like fun thing that you guys can pop in and out of whenever. So don't worry about it for a second. Uh, love how you upload your rebirth with your streams. I'm sorry. It's just on Thursdays, which I still, I'm thinking 10,000 for the mood. Is white an option? Can you just tell me, is white even an option on it? I think it might be. Yeah, because that's the white. Yeah, but it doesn't have a white base, so you have to pick a different base color. Uh, that's about as white as white gets. It's more blue. Yeah, I was like, I don't think white is an option, King of the Hill. I think you're going to have to pick a different color. That's about as white as I can make it. Also, Citrio, welcome in. Yes, another EU stream. And Riso, thank you for almost an entire year. Welcome back in. I feel so joyous today. I came back after having two days with sunshine and happiness. And like, I just, I told you guys a couple, like, I think it was last week, whenever I get towards the end of winter, right before springtime kind of like picks up and it gets sunny and nice outside, I feel like I'm kind of burning on I guess running on fumes at that point I really am like a solar panel I come alive with the sunshine on me all right I'm a solar powered girl all right me too mostly because I got a great workout in yeah I got to work out the last two days I got some projects done around my house I actually got the paint in for my main bedroom which I've been wanting to do for a long time so I'm excited to share that with you guys as well a lobster settings fully vitamin d is great for everyone I know and I know that like I could go outside more but I think ever since 
since the shift in the time it was like the seasons also shifted and now i think we've skipped summer and went straight to i mean skipped spring and went straight to summer it's been hot like the last two days yesterday was like 78. my dad was working by me on thursday or on tuesday so he got to come over and i got to go take him to like a park and we went for a walk and got some coffee and just walked outside and i reminded me just how much I need to even do that for myself even if it's just walking around the neighborhood you know also sister mayor welcome back in see you winter thank you for the hundred bits as well what better way to welcome back the started stream than a good old band of dart pass let me find him lacrothos welcome in how's it going and king cabinet is a cabinet um I think I remember you complained about your neck and pillows. You should try a cer wait, 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 cervical pillows. I know weird name. I hate pillows, but I find them uncomfortable. Wait, with the, so I know what you're talking about with the cervical pillow. Is it the one that's like shaped kind of like, uh, like bows out like this? I know what you're talking about. I think I should look into that. Also, thank you for remembering that and sharing that in the first place. I know I hate pillows, but maybe if I got a special like shaped one, it would maybe help. But my neck feels better today. It still is like... I don't know. It still was really hurting the day after I woke back up and I think it's fine right now, but I just got to stretch more. I have to take better care of myself. I did make, I also took the time, like last night I had a friend's birthday, but I did crock pot cooking and I did a chicken tortilla soup and it was so good. And now I have chicken tortilla soup for like four days, which is kind of excessive. I don't need it that much, but I just had, it just yielded so much. I need to honestly chop it in half. Like I need to not cook as much i think i know soup how do they work soup's so easy to cook in a crock pot you just put most of the ingredients in just turn that boy on low and just watch it all melt together yeah it was actually really fun to cook again i i'm one of my favorite parts about cooking is chopping up the vegetables and just i like to put on like i know it's cheesy because of the name but i love throwing on sam cook sam cook is my favorite music to listen to like favorite artist to listen to when i'm cooking like not because of the name just i it's so happy and cheery music i really love it pon pon may be back no zen zen do not do this to me sam cooks <laughs> Dan, do not stream and drive. Choco, happy good morning. It's not morning. Happy good evening. Furch, by the way. Furch, thank you for 16 months as well. Not here as much as I'd like to recently, but always enjoyed my time here with this amazing community. Furch, thank you. Like, I know not all of you guys can be here consistently, like, all the time, but it still is just so humbling that you guys continue to subscribe and support the channel even if you know that you're not able to be here as much as you'd like to be so thank you for continuing to support the community and me and ginger and everything and speaking of support g cali g cali thank you for 13 months as well holy cow y'all are getting up there y'all are really getting up no I was gonna say y'all are really getting up there and I was gonna say something nice, but never mind. James, welcome back in. How's your neck doing? Guys, thank you for remembering. It is, yeah, today it's a lot better. Again, I stretched out, I went to the gym and I've been biking. Holy cow, does biking, at least I, I feel like biking is actually helping my spine just in the way of like having the proper posture while it's like keeping i don't know i don't know how to describe it i think it's also just working out but yeah i've been biking for like 15 to 30 minutes it kind of depends on the day and what i'm doing but i've been biking nearly every day since i got it and i love it like i love it i feel kind of bad because i haven't popped on my uh treadmill like my under the desk treadmill in a little bit because i just would pre like prefer to bike but yeah that was a game changer th so thank you guys for recommending that i think i speak for all you for eu people when i say keep it up with the eu friendly streams i know you know i often talk about this but it actually i guess not even low-key but it would be a, i think it would help bring a lot of like normalcy back to my life if i stream during the daytime and stop doing i know i only do two afternoon streams during the week but i think just even streaming during the daytime versus going into the evening would help bring a lot back what's normal i know exactly normal couldn't be me but i just streamed at this time for forever um so and then i also feel like it would be solely eu friendly at that time I, like it would be only EU peeps I would be able to tune in which would be really sad because I also have built a lot of my community based off of NA hours um, just because working and I kept the same schedule in London 
London. London, thank you for the six gifted subs to the channel and community. And also Batman and Yellow, guys, thank you for the follows. And Voldemort, Voldemort, I'm so glad that you've been enjoying your time here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you for converting your sub to tier one. This is a big shirt, but free people always like, this is a free people shirt. It's my favorite workout shirt. Um, and it just swallows me and I love it. Okay, I don't like, I don't like like, uh, sometimes I wear like skin tight shirts, but I feel like for the most part, I like like the flowy and loosey goosey kind of tops. I don't know. Take my snow. I'm going to send you a whole lot. Yeah, I think it was 76 degrees. I will take snow though. I would prefer snow with some sunlight just a little bit. I, I didn't get to really proper snowboard this year. Honestly, moon, no boundaries. Welcome back in. It's 10 15 EU time for me. Yeah, this is one of my non EU friendly streams. This is, no, 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 this is late. Plus it's even, isn't it even worse for you guys until y'all catch up at the end of this month? Yes, AJ, welcome back as well. I saw you were at the pre-stream party too. You still haven't gotten your credit card back? They're taking their sweet time getting that back to you. Yeah, I think I remember you can play. Okay, I saw that. I'm scrolling down. Um, is orange available? Orange would be the basic color. King of the Hill, are you sure you just want orange? But that's fine if you want orange. Let me know. And Shogun, welcome in as well. Hold on, I'm scrolling down. I see QJ. QJ, welcome back in. Bradley, thank you for the follow. And Anonymous, thank you for all of these gifted subs. You are truly bananas. Also, Dart Pass. Anna said that the grass is dangerous, so better to stay inside. That's rich, considering she's going to be touching grass all weekend. All right, that's rich. Seabroom, welcome in as well. And thank you. I appreciate the kind, the kind words. Echo Bats. We have a book club in the Discord. I forgot about that. Do we read a lot of fantasy novels because I love them? I'm in the love with... Wait, wait. I'm in love with what I'm reading right now, and I'm about halfway through. Yeah, um, so... We're currently reading a very interesting book right now, but we do try to do a bunch of different styles. Right now, we kind of tipped into the like horror thriller genre with the current read. I thought we were going to go Gone Girl, and instead we're now reading The Devil all the time. So we definitely like to mix it up a little bit, but we have done a lot of sci-fi and fantasy as well. But you are always welcome to pop in for any books that pique your fancy. And then otherwise, you don't have to, you know, there's there's like a core. I would say there's a core group of people that I think are kind of reading nearly every single thing. But like case in point, Raj isn't a big fan of the book we're reading right now. And so he's not currently reading it, but he still showed up to the meeting and um, I think gets something out of the meeting. So you can always pop into the meetings just to listen along as well. If it's something that you're trying to get into, it's just really nice to have that accountability with a group of people and be able to talk about ideas and thoughts and feelings beyond it. It's been one of the, I mean, it's no secret. Like we haven't done a lot of community events recently because a lot of times they happen based off of my free time. Um, anytime we do a movie night, anytime we do book clubs, like those are all on my days, like off, um, where I'm usually recording anyway. So it's really nice to be able to create something that is happening, whether I'm there or not, it takes a lot of pressure off of me. I think it kind of bonds the community a little bit more as well. And it just it's gone on for over a year now and I feel like it's doing so well and now different people in the community are leading some of the book club the discussions as well so there's chance for like leadership and I just I guess to kind of bring you together with some more people that have a common um interest as you I guess but I would like to bring in some more I talked about doing like it'd be awesome to get somebody on to kind of explain D&D &D, do like a D&D &D introductory like introduction night or something yeah, section part A, thou shall not hide. What, Mr. Mojo? Real quick, FF rebirth graphics and performance modes are both great, but if you really want to explore everything, know that you're missing some crowds in town completely with the inqu- Wait, wait, If you play in performance mode, you're missing conversations? Hippin, thank you for sharing that. Um, I think the only reason that I turned on performance mode was y'all were telling me to turn on performance mode last time, but I think that's because of the issues that were happening. I don't know if you guys remember this. If you guys saw my part one for Final Fantasy, um, long story short, my recording settings were not good. Okay. I, um, it was amateur hour and I fixed my recording settings and so now the videos are a lot better. You're not seeing that like blurry, like my screen isn't going blurry when there's like a bunch of bright lights happening. And I think a lot of people thought that that was performance mode that was kind of impacting that. So I did turn on performance mode. Yeah, Millie needs performance mode. I know. 
I know. Also, potato dumpling, welcome in. Machus, I have a, wait, wait, I've done a crock pot queso. Oh, absolutely. Or buffalo chicken dip. Oh, hoo, hoo, I mess up some buffalo chicken dip. Uh, also, Bogdan, thank you for the follow. And TGS, thank you for five months of continual support. And you guys with a hype train right off the rip. Luke, welcome in. Hold on, let me scroll down a little bit. Chop a soup in half. I'm gonna have to cut it in half, I am. I'm that far back. I'm back to where we're talking about soup. What is happening? Okay, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. I'm sorry, I'm missing so many conversations, y'all. Yeah, tomorrow's too early for my EU hours. Oh yeah, being EU and it's still too early. I can go with some salmon ceviche. Ceviche, oh my gosh. Well, I'll eat pretty much anything with salmon. I'm actually a big seafood lover. I'm excited to get some seafood when we go to Wales as well. Yo-Yo, thank you also for converting your Prime or gifted sub to tier one. We've had two conversions. It's happening. Indoctrination is taking place, guys. Be careful. It happens like this. And next thing you know, you're stuck for two years. You never know. Med, thank you for the follow. And London, thank you for the 314 bits. Wait, that's oddly. Is it Pi Day? It is 3.14. <clears throat> I didn't realize that. You're right. It is 3.14. It's Pi Day. And I don't have any pie. Mm. You should have said it's your weight loss shirt. David, by the way. Or da yeah, David. David, welcome back in too. I like the little emotes. Oh, those are Dahlia's emotes. Yeah. It's 9.15 where I live. It's Wait, wait. That's late for you or that's early for you? Okay, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Gives you more crowd dialogues as opposed to performance mode. You might be into that. Absolutely. I mean... I cannot tell you guys how much I think it's so important to listen to the conversations happening amongst just the crowds in Final Fantasy. You like in calm, there's these two girls that are talking about how this guy was leading them both on and cheating on one another. And it was crazy. And I was just walking by and I heard it and I was like, hold on, what? Jack, Jack, welcome back in, by the way, as well. I am catching up. So um, bear with me. Leon, welcome back in. I'm very happy I found this channel. You made me instantly feel like home and the community here is as great as well. All the pon pon. No. <laughs> okay, pon pon needs to die. Okay, this needs to end. We have what? Probably two more weeks of cyberpunk and then it's gone. It's gone for good. We're done. No more. I think this time is actually, wait, wait. Well, I think this time is perfect, actually. I like night streams. Alexander, ag welcome back in, by the way. Yeah, I think that's why as much as in my life, it would probably, it would probably help bring my schedule and I'll, it would definitely, I think it would be better for me, but I guess there's just this part of me that can't fully, like I will always do things that are optimal for myself, but I feel like doing two more nighttime streams a week makes sense. It's like the perfect cut in the middle, you know, like I stream during the day on weekdays or on weekends. And then I hang out with you guys at night on the weekend or on the weekdays. Wow. I cannot talk today. <laughs> yeah. FF7 is such a good game. It is. It's so beautiful. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm, uh, I think I'm like well into chapter seven at this point. Yeah. I think I'm almost chapter eight where I'm at now. So I'm actually pretty far ahead of you guys. I've been recording like a mad woman, like both of my off days. I just recorded. I just tried to record a ton. Also, O2, thank you for a follow as well. I feel like you ended up streaming longer during the day than at night. Oh, absolutely. You'll, you'll never, you're very rarely going to see me stream for long hours during the weekdays um mostly because i shut off at 9 30. pretty much at 9 30 my brain is like <sniffs> but that's good i also like i probably could stream longer if i woke up later but i will always just wake up at like 6 30 7 o'clock like by the time i come to stream anna and i were talking about this today like by the time i've come to stream i've done like my entire day i've worked out i've recorded today i recorded two videos like i do so much before I even get to stream that I feel like it's really difficult for me to want to do like way longer streams whereas if I start at 10 in the morning you guys get like like high energy Maggie like full best version of myself you know I have not always been an early riser the military absolutely did that to me and I've never been able to get it back oh no I know yeah weekends are peak peak casta also, Old Monk, thank you so much for 19 months of continual support and welcome back in. Thank you for almost, I guess, almost two years, right? And Anon, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Mitch, Mitchellator as well. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm EU hours. Mm -hmm. The military did that to all of us, which I'm not, I'm not actually upset about it. I, 
I think that I did used to feel like I thrived more at nighttime. I used to stay up way late into the evening, but one of my favorite things as I've gotten older is definitely really early morning workouts. And when you come out of your workout now, now so much, it's already bright outside, but in the winter time, especially when you come out and you get out of the gym in the morning at like seven and the sun's just starting to like rise and you hear the birds chirping and you know, like most people are waking up at that moment or just like a handful of people are waking up at that moment. It's like a very sweet time in the day. Or you can go out on your porch and just drink some coffee. Uh, Also, blood, blood, welcome back in. Daniel, hi. I wake up at 7 a.m. and go to bed at 3 a.m. You're just a vampire. Just a vampire at that point. What? That is crazy. I love that first in the morning feeling. I do. I uh, sometimes uh, also like uh, Mondays and Thursdays when I stream in the afternoon, I try to like I I can't go straight to bed. So those are the two days that I normally stay up till like 11 o'clock and then I'll go to bed and not get as much sleep. But it's mostly just because I end stream and sometimes I am tired enough and I just pass out. Um, But other times I feel like my brain has to wind down reading a book or just something else to kind of calm me down, I guess. I do not miss morning PT. Oh no, I just hated PT, like what they made us do for PT. So yeah, no, I don't miss that for a second. Also, Queef, welcome back in. Drop has take get timed out and I think it's time to bring him back in. It might be time to bring him back. Also, T-Sub. T-Sub, are you going to TwitchCon EU? Beastie, thank you for the follow. Um, <laughs> some days, some days it doesn't get me and then other days, uh, I look at that and I see 62 months and a tier two as well. And uh, I'm just in awe. t thank you for over five years of believing in me. <laughs> thank you. Also, Aries. Aries with 18 months of continual support. Mirag, welcome in. I was a one in. I see we're back to the 80s hair. My hair's drying right now. I can't do middle part if it's drying. I have to do 80s hair style when it's like wet because it's still wet right now. Anonymous, thank you for the gifted sub to Vindicator and Anon with the gifted sub to also Beatla, Beatla. Uh, and Kim, thank you for the follow and welcome in. Thanks guys. Yeah, sorry, I. that is just crazy. It was like when you guys were saying, um, we had 60k and I was like wow 60k in the year that I've been doing this for six years we're doing D&D burrito burrito hi Holly welcome back in as well um I am gonna scroll down and see if I see any first time chatters and also just try to see ads or mentions speaking of crock pots a new guy showed up today at work cutting carrots and cooking in a crock pot oh I would I would cook in a cubicle (laughs) if they'd let me up. absolutely i still haven't tried a crumble cookie isaac i still need to try one of those and marvin thank you for the follow as well and anon with the gifted sub to slug and jp anon thank you thank you so much ah oh, i love seafood salmon is definitely my favorite i probably have salmon once a week maybe once every two weeks it kind of depends uh trader joe's has like really good salmon It's pretty easy to cook too, you know, just pop that sucker in the oven. I'm all about like the oven cooking, like oven cooking my chicken, all of it. Did y'all get your pizzas? It could be a pizza pie, couldn't it? What do you mean your pizzas though? Is somebody doing a pie deal? Also, my eyebrow is just unhinged today. Ignore it. I don't know. This day (laughs) now. That sounds fun. Reading the sword of defiant right now. I have not heard of it makes a lot of tabletop middle earth campaigns the story for the sword defiant asks oh, i don't know if the ring was from the evil sword that i'll have to look it up on goodreads when i kind of have time to really digest that as well and i don't have a million things on my mind but if you haven't checked it out echo you can definitely join at least the book club and then you can pop that recommendation in there and aries thank you for not only the resub for 18 months in a row soon to be five years right and thank you for the the celebration as well marvin again thank you and michael michael welcome back in thank you for thank you for the gifted sub to the channel and community as well wouldn't let down for the settings wouldn't set down wait what is this in adept welcome back in as well just playing the game to listen to some tea listen into some tea always piping hot in final fantasy if you guys are not listening to the side conversations you're missing out on some good tea i'm telling you i think there's an episode where i start and i'm like guys this is juicier than the bachelor right now (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, that was the other thing. And then on Tuesday, I got to host um, my girls' night with the the Bachelor. It's like I I never used to watch them, but it's the community. It's like now we have like this solid group of girls that get together to watch it, and it's just so fascinating. And I just I'm really enjoying having more female friends in my life right now. And I didn't used to watch it, but I'm here for it. And I'm just kind of like diving into all sorts of things that I missed out growing up with brothers. And I was never, I never was exposed to the bachelor or bachelorette life. And so I just love it. It's good. <laughs> I love the tea. Did anyone say, wait, wait, I missed that. Uno, Uno, thank you for 16 months as well. All of the multiple months at this point, holy cow. Thank you so much, Uno. Yes. What about the guys watching Bachelorette? Not a bad idea. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. I watch both though. At this point, we're watching both. I haven't seen Bachelor in Paradise. No, we normally just do. Well, we definitely do The Bachelor because of winter season, but I haven't, we haven't hosted Bachelorette yet. Oh, my friend and I did watch The Golden Bachelor, which was cute. That was so cute. I got indoctrinated with boy stuff your whole life. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I always wonder what it would be like to have a sister. I really do. And then I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I guess I missed the sharing of clothes and the collaboration on, I don't know, just being able to, I think, I don't know if I'd want to be the older sister or the younger sister though. There's a lot of pressure being the older sister, but I think it'd be really fun to, I, yeah, I think either would have been really cool to have. You smell what I'm cooking? Raising the eyebrow like a, no, no. I don't know why my eyebrows popping off right now. Put it back down. Happy Thursday was finally productive today and deep clean the rest of the cabinets and drawers. That is so satisfying. It's nice to see a little bit less suitcases and boxes cluttering all around. How many suitcases do you have? Is this a collection of yours? Oh, also Evan, welcome in. Hello from YouTube Outer Wilds. I think <laughs> Evan, I'm catching up if, if it's your first time chatting as well. Um, welcome in. I, I am catching up to all the first time chatters, but Evan, welcome in from the YouTube side of things. And also that goes for anybody else who's come over from YouTube. Uh, thank you for popping over and I hope you're enjoying the Outer Wilds playthrough. I've had a lot of people from Outer Wilds come over here. Yeah. I'm an only child, so I always wondered what it would be like to have a sibling at all. I know. Virgo, by the way, hi. It's great to see you again. And TGM, thank you for the follow. And Anon with the gifted sub to Kennedy as well. Mitchellator, welcome in. Are you able to say what is the best game you've ever played? I feel like I have, I guess like an, I don't know. I'd say it's like arbitrary, but I guess I technically have like a quote unquote favorite, but I, I'm not a big fan of this question because... I just love every game I play and that's why my reviews are crap. It's why I don't really do in-depth reviews or explain a lot anymore because I just love almost near nearly every single game I play. Um, so I feel like it's really difficult for me to come up with just one answer, but Witcher 3 does particularly stand out. I just don't know if I could say it's like one game to rule them all and in the, you know what I mean? everything but the sports scene but the sports scene i would play sports games cyanide uh, uh, uh hold on i would play some sports games it just is never highly requested for me to play them so that's why we don't do it i still haven't actually watched the final fantasy 7 playthrough yeah, you've got plenty of time i will say i'm really happy i don't think it's going to be as many episodes as i was expecting mostly because i'm recording three to four hours every time <laughs> But I think it might be only like 20 episodes. They're just a long voice. They are a long voice. Aries listens to the side conversations, then loses at Queen's Blood. I know. Guys, I've washed up as a side, like mini game player. It also would be Gwent. Oh, for sure. It'd definitely be Gwent. Who's the guy in the back? You don't recognize him? Coffee, welcome back in as well. I like this hair look. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, I am scrolling down. Also, thank you for the sub. Yeah, Evan, I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes. And again, welcome to the channel and community. Um, I'm sorry it took a little bit for me to get down and uh, say hi and read your message. But yeah, I just seem to get worse and worse at this. I'm washed up. It's normally because I start rambling about something else that I've been doing. It's like peak cast up. When you're saying I peaked, what is this? Baby face. Have you always been an early riser? Okay, wait, I'm so far back in the conversation. Marag, welcome in. Daniel, welcome back in. Great, I'm assuming this has to do with the apology. Mm. Crate with five gifted subs to the channel and community for my sorries, my sorries. Thank you. 
And if you guys got a gifted sub from the hype train earlier from Anon from Crate, I hope you give them a big thank you. Also, Beatlow, welcome in. What did you do in PT that you didn't like? What did I like in the military PT? A baby, running, running, and running. Everything else is fine. <laughs> I am not a runner. I hate running. I would be happy to do push-ups. I'll do like sit-ups. I'll do anything else, but don't make me run. Even like the mile. I, I know it's only a mile and a half, but I just despised it. No, I'm sorry for saying sorry. I know my knees. I'm sorry. Yes, Jord. Jord, welcome back in as well. Running is the only thing I can do. Jaguar. No, no. I have corgi legs. Stop. <laughs> Stop, Lamba. I hope you're having a good Thursday. Rev. <laughs> Pants or your salmon? We'll do anything Luke, thank you for the three. Family. Thank you for the three gifted subs to the channel and community as well. Oh, Cajun seafood. Oh, Old Bay and Cajun sauce. Yes. Uh, yes. Cajun fries are some of my favorite. Oh, they're so good. I'm so far behind. I'm going to have to scroll down, you guys. Um, Vampire for sure. Absolutely. TGM, welcome in. I see it's your first time here. Did you come from YouTube or something? I think your eyebrows are missing Meredith and River. That's why they're acting weird. We never went back to River. That's what we're doing today. We're going back to River. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even know how we were going to start today. Great suggestion. Let's start with a little bit of love. Or the closest to love we've gotten in this game. I gotta get more people stuck here, Luke. <laughs> Thank you so much. I also think I missed your question. Uh, I think you asked something about streaming. Worst part about being the youngest is most of the clothes you have used to belong to your siblings. I actually did like, I did grow up getting a lot of my brother's t-shirt hand-me-downs, which I actually loved. I don't know, t-shirts were the thing. All right, t-shirts and overalls. That's what I wore as a kid. Cohen, welcome in by the way. And if you didn't figure out by now, it's Michael Myers. Yeah. At some point, you have to do a hard save if you want to do all the DLC endings. Do you want us to tell you that? It's not obvious. Nope, that's okay. I'm not looking to do every single ending possible. Um, I just am looking to do like a first organic playthrough that's as impacted the least like by any outside influences, I guess, unless I do ask for floppy pickle. Uh, that's why there's multiple playthroughs and I don't want to rob myself of the enjoyment of doing other endings in future playthroughs as well. But I appreciate you asking. Thank you. Um, I saw Echo. Speaking of Rebirth playthrough, please, 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 please add timestamps, especially if you're going to make three hour plus videos. There's so much that I have to skim through. Yeah, I know. I did used to do that with, I did used to do that with something else. I'll definitely consider it. Um, I know that there's a lot going on, but I feel like also at the same time, I have never presented myself as somebody who plays just the main mission. I think a lot of people that subscribe and come into the channel definitely are there for all of the bits and pieces. Yeah, I timestamp towards the end with Final Fantasy 16. The reason why, yeah, I guess like part of it is like I avoid timestamping sometimes because I I get that some people just want to watch the main story, but that's not my playthrough style at all. And so I feel like I don't want to, you know, like false advertise that that's what you're going to get with it, I guess. Zuku, welcome in as well. It also is a lot of timestamps. Have you played Horizon Forbidden West? No. Well, I started it, but I never finished, if that makes sense. Side quest for days, here for it. I'm just, I'm always going to be... Yeah, I'm, a cowboy. I'm always going to be that person that is trying to play as much as possible for my first playthrough and so um I feel like those are the type of people that I really want to support me are people that also want to see all of it and um oh my gosh I almost did raid dar pass there we go I just got the notification saying I got gifted diva welcome back in as well Dark Pass, I, yeah, I did, I did, I did it. In games like Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk, side quests are main quests for me. I will say, I definitely can understand. I feel like with Final Fantasy, there is a lot of downtime. There is a lot of downtime. Um, probably what I'll do, if I'm being completely honest, I'll probably go back and do timestamps after I finish the game. Um, maybe, maybe I can talk to my editor about it. We'll see. Let me start stream first. <laughs> Let's raid Darpass, guys. James, thank you for 16 months of continual support as well. Thank you. Yeah, you'll never see timestamps in the archive channel. That's just not because that's like a lot of what Vert does. And I'm never going to ask him to do that. But absolutely, I can definitely consider it for this because I did do that with Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. 
Anna has been streaming at times I can't watch, so we have to catch up on the archive channel, right? Yeah. Have you been playing Rebirth on quality? Performance looks horrible. Everybody told me to play on performance, and now you guys are all telling me to play on quality. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Does it really look that bad? Mmm. Oh, play on PC. Thank you. Thank you. Rackham, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. It's mega blurry, is it? Quality looks much better. What am I gonna, what is gonna change from me switching from performance to quality? Timestamps for all the hype trains ever on the archive channel. <laughs> I wanna play at 60 FPS, so I just played on performance mode. Mm. 30 FPS of, on quality, 30 FPS. Um, I wonder why it's going blurry. You lose 60 FPS. I cannot do that though. I, yeah. Oh. I will think about this. There's a lot of changes. I posted on Discord or on uh, Instagram today. There's a lot of changes. Like I am seeing suggestions or tips and hints and things like that. And I am making um, alterations to my play style. But I am just so far ahead of you guys that you don't see it for a little bit. F.A., thank you for the 100 bits as well. And Resolve, thank you for the hydrate. I actually don't. I need to fill up my water too. Mm. It might make you more motion sick, especially if I am kind of prone to motion sickness. Oh, I'll have to see. Everybody, I think I was playing on quality and everybody told me to switch to performance when I released part one. So I'm confused why now y'all want us to go back to it. Stick with performance mode, it's much smoother. Quality is blurry as hell. Okay. 120 frames in quality puts on my monocle. I'm an episode behind on FF7 and I can't decide what is funnier. The fact that you aren't even stealthy enough to get chocobos or when I realized it was you making the random gnawing noises, not the game. <laughs> I'm trying to perfect my chocobo noise. Qua. <laughs> it's because I read it as qua. <laughs> Thank you for the 500 bits, Artie. Thank you. I know, I'm just trying to entertain myself a minute. Like, <laughs> here's the truth. The truth is sometimes when I'm playing a game, I like, I'm very aware sometimes that I am recording. And so I try to tone it down a little bit. And then every once in a while, especially in a game that I'm like thoroughly enjoying, I just forget that I am on camera. <laughs> And sometimes it's just unfiltered, and so I have to like remind myself. I'm like, oh no, no, <laughs> don't tone it down. <laughs> Qua. <laughs> no, it's not the chocobo noise. I have to think about it. We need a chocobo sound alert. Never go full chocobo. <laughs> I just, I love it so much. Also, Scythe, Scythe, welcome back in as well. Flying Cosmo. It's the unhinged raw cast out, especially if you get like really early morning. Cause I do normally, like sometimes I do try to go to the gym first, but it's almost like you can tell the recordings that I haven't gone to the gym first because my energy is just like, I don't know. I'm both a morning person, but sometimes I definitely, I need a win first thing in the morning. So I trick my brain by either doing like, I'll hop into a cold shower um, or I'll go work out. And I just try to do something that like stimulates my brain and tells me like, okay, nice. I got a victory first thing in the morning. I'm ready to go. But sometimes in the recordings, I go straight into recording at like seven in the morning and I'm like, what's happening here? If I make a bed, I call it a win. I make my bed, like all honest, I make my bed about 50% of the time. It depends if Ginger is laying in it or not. And a lot of times she is. And so I just let her, you know, she's got old bones. She doesn't want a made bed. She wants it all like fluffy and poofy and I'm not gonna disrupt her like that, you know? Raw and uncensored. No. <laughs> what? HR left and right. It's what, as in I, okay, so your win is getting out of bed. That's your win for the day. Yeah, if I hop into the shower, if I successfully do like a cold shower, that's a win for me. Absolutely. Drink coffee and funnel the resulting panic attack into productivity. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't do coffee. I wish I could. I do. Also, Jokums and also... Oh my goodness, how hoi 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 plane? Hoi plane? Guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. You're just perfecting the authentic chocobo noises for the chocobo cosplay you're doing for the next alert. 
Oh, I no longer do gobbles. I do the chocobo noise. This is an idea. Cold shower is a win. Sidebeard, by the way, welcome back in. And also Kayla, welcome back in. And anybody else I missed, I know that today especially, I feel like on the... Um, I feel like on Thursdays, I'm the worst at catching up with you guys because I haven't seen you guys for the longest. So I feel like I'm just rambling about random things that I've done in the last two days. And I just get further and further behind with chat. But uh, thank you for everybody who's here today and all the lurky turkeys and the lurky chocobos. Quality mode is not blurry. Honestly, FF7 Rebirth is one of the few games where they switch from 60 FPS to 30 FPS, easily adjustable outside of the piano mini games, the piano mini games. The piano mini games are rough. This is the first one y'all will see in the video that just uploaded. Aquila, hi, Master Da Vinci. Lukewarm, well, don't get me wrong, my normal showers, I need to burn a layer of skin off. All right, I am a snake. No, this is further Slytherin proof. Let me run it back. <laughs> I just like to burn at least one layer of skin off. I shed a new, <laughs> and then I come out. <laughs> it's just, there's too many now. I know. Normally, I like the hottest shower possible, like feasibly possible. But in the morning, sometimes if I really need to, I'll do a little do a little cold plunge in the shower, I guess. Do you have any opinions on on what? I don't even know what this is. Resolve. I'm not even sure what that is. Should I know what this is? Nice to know you like to burn in the shower. It's true. It's true. I just like I don't know. I it's just I don't know. I don't know. Every morning, I shed my skin. Her, <laughs> her molting processes continue. <laughs> mm. Cast a snake to Clism. Hears thou my voice still? still? I'll never understand a woman's tolerance to hot water. DG. <laughs> I think it's because I'm always cold. Like, I'm truly always cold, guys. Always. <laughs> Not right now, but it's why a lot of times it'll be the middle of the summer and you guys are like, why are you wearing a hoodie? And I'm like, well, AC one, two, the AC can be blasting and I'm still freezing. Also, the YouTube videos of people's playing songs on FF7 piano is crazy. I know. I'm sure. This is why I need to go back to my piano lessons. I quit them and now I need to get back into them. I feel like I'm the worst student for learning piano. My poor instructor is like, you coming back? And I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> always start boiling. Hoot. Maybe at the end, tone it down so you won't pass out. Oh, yeah. Well, so Shay, uh, Shan, great advice. Um, but I always turn to freezing water when I uh, condition my hair. So I pretty much burn a layer of skin. I'll do like, you know, shaving the legs, whatever, shaving the armpits. I got to remember that. Um, <laughs> And then I'll like shampoo my hair. And then afterwards, when I'm conditioning it, I'll turn it down to like freezing. And then I hop out, you know, if I remember to. I remember I waited till the shower completely heats up, getting steamy, and then I immediately put it to cold. Cold? I'd have Cloud playing. Wait, wait, wait. I'd have Cloud playing Alicia Keys, Burbis. Please do a video of this and post in the Discord. This is all in one shower. No, not every shower is a hair shower. Although when I was talking to my hairstylist, I was like, ma'am, I'm losing clumps of hair. Like, I feel like I'm losing, and to me, it feels like a lot. And she's like, well, how often do you shower your hair? And I had read that it was better to go like three to four days without washing your hair. And she was like, okay, well, you have really thin hair. And I was like, yes, I've been cursed by the thin hair devil. And she was like, okay, well, you should probably wash it every other day. So now I'm starting to wash it every other day. So it's nearly every other shower. Is cold water, cold water better for conditioning? That's what I had always heard growing up. I haven't done a lot of research into how to properly take care of my hair. Guys, look, this is like, I I should, I should. I'm cursed with thin hair too. It's the thin hair devil, I hate it. It's after me all the time. <laughs> Plus I do brush my teeth. This is a great point, chef. Okay, I don't think it's weird. This was a whole conversation that we had. We had a whole debate one time. I don't think it's weird to brush your teeth in the shower. I, it's just me saving time. Well, it takes the same amount of time, but to me, I'm cleaning everything else. So I might as well like clean my teeth too. It's not weird. It saves time. It's efficient. It's efficient. I mean, I take my toothbrush out and everything and then I like bring it in and then I go out and no, I floss, I floss in the mirror. Of course I floss in the mirror. Maybe I should get a mirror for the shower. Some people do get a mirror for the shower. You can eat in the shower as well. I don't eat in the shower, but I absolutely sometimes bring, you know, a, a cold yingling in occasionally. You gotta, like, there, there really is something nice about 
a, a shower beard. There's something good. I judged my brother for it until I tried it. And you know, it actually is eye opening. It is. I used to drink coffee in there. <laughs> I video game in the shower. <laughs> a cold beer in the shower. It's true. Shower beer is unmatched. Thank you. <laughs> We're learning so much about your shower tendencies. Tobin, hi. Also, I speak welcome in and thank you for the follow. Typical alcoholic. Not at all. Actually, I'll be the first, like all of my friends would be the first to tell you that I hardly ever drink. It's just like sometimes when you have like a hard day, you just pull out a shower beer and it was actually really good. That was good. It's not like I'm doing it like once every week. It's like if I'm going through a particularly hard time and you're like, you know what? This just hits. This hits. It's kind of weird. I like, I feel like I never understood. My dad used to, like, I grew up, my dad hardly, actually, both of my parents hardly drink alcohol now that I think about it. But I did grow up with my dad just being like, something about a cold beer after a hard day just feels really good. And then when I grew up, like, I got obsessed with carbonation. I love carbonation. And sure enough, granted, I mean, it's like, like Miller Light or Coors Light. Like, I'll drink a Coors and it's like, that, that's not a heavy beer at all. It's kind of just like a, it's like your version of like a Coke. You don't drink it for the alcohol, you drink it for the taste. Something about the taste is kind of nice the older you get, it's weird. Woodworking in the shower means there's less dust in the air. Stop, Coors is basically water, exactly. <laughs> exactly, I know, I know. It's better than Paps Blue, all right, give me a break. I could be drinking like piss in ocean water. Uh, obsessed with poisonous gas bubbles injecting into liquid. I like, I like my carbonation. Okay. I can't let it go. Drinking Coors for the taste. I don't know why I, this is, I know this is weird, but I always saw my dad drinking a Coors. And I just think that the older I get, I really realize like my tendencies are brought on by what I saw my parents do or consume or something. Like if I'm missing home, I'll do like, I'll cook my mom's chili recipe. Or if I'm missing like my family, like sometimes I'll just like have a beer because I think of them. I have a weird, wait, wait, I have a weird liking to Coors Banquet. It's a very European thing. What is? What's a very European thing? Which one? Ghost welcome in. Which necklace? I can't have carbonated drinks. I know. Yeah, I know some people. Yeah, I know some people like the bubbles. My mom can't do carbonation anymore. Yeah. Only beer I like is Corona with lime. You know, I've never tried a Corona and lime. I've tried Corona, but not with the lime. The best Monty Python quote ever. American beer is like making love in a canoe. It's close to water. John Morris, that is like quite the entrance. <laughs> it's quite the entrance. Welcome in. I think you're going to fit in here quite well. 13, nothing tastes better than a shower beer. Drinking a beer every day after work. I'm in Australia right now and I drink it. So I, I definitely am not somebody that drink. I don't even really have alcohol in my home unless I have like, I've received through like work accolades in my past, like people would gift like a nice bottle of bourbon or something. Um, but I don't often regularly like buy alcohol for my house. And I very rarely will just have a beer, you know, cause also I hop off stream at like 10 o'clock at night. I'm not gonna drink a beer at 10 o'clock at night. I wouldn't say I do it as much anymore. I think more if I'm going through, I think if I just am having one of those days and you know what I'm talking about. It's one of those days where, you know, you're trying to see the joy, you're trying to see the positive side of it. And you just feel like you've been kicked a couple too many times. And you're like, all right, this, this is my, moment where I'm just going to enjoy this for a second not to get drunk but just because you like the taste because it reminds you of home because of whatever it is you know something tells me you'd be a great bar buddy oh my gosh I feel like I am and no I, well I'm a great I like to go to bars or like people watch like when I'm with my friends I like to people watch I love to go to breweries for my friend group will do breweries to do the trivia nights I love people watching I love it. It's so much fun. Or at amusement parks. Purple. Also, guys, y'all got me talking for 52 minutes about shower habits. Purple. <laughs> Purple, thank you for 10 gifted subs to the channel and community. That is our cue that we need to go. We need to go. Overzealous, by the way. Thank you for the gifted sub to John Morris. John, welcome in. And Purple, anybody who has gotten a gifted sub from Purple, I hope you give them a big thank you. 
Yeah, retro, welcome back in. I just can't with beer. It's too gross. I'll make a cocktail instead. My thing is, I'm not a big wine fan. I really tried hard to like wine. I'm not a wine fan. I like Moscow Mules, lychee teenies, uh, and beer. But like lagers specifically. I can't do any other beers, but I like lagers. You need to have a high-end Japanese whiskey on you at all times. Actually, I do like whiskey too. That's actually a good point. Whiskey or bourbon is kind of okay. Sinks well with any Square Enix game, I recommend. Wait, you're saying I should have Japanese whiskey while playing Square Enix games. Are you trying to get me to die left and right? Yeah, people watching is so interesting. Well, I will say, and this sounds like critical, but people watching hasn't been as much fun anymore because a lot of times people are just on their phones. But even there's a little bit of something fun within that of itself, seeing the dynamic at a table between people and seeing all the people that are on their phones. There is something interesting about it. There's something really nice about going to when I remember when I told you guys I did that solo trip last year for the first time where I just like traveled by myself and I really liked it. And my whole thing was like I went to a couple like dinners for myself by myself and I've done I've gone to dinners by myself before or I've, I've gone to movies by myself before too but there was something so nice about eating maybe like a nicer dinner and I just pulled a book out and I was reading and eating and it was really nice I can't stand the taste of whiskey I'm weird I don't think that's weird I think like with alcohol it's so like you never know if you like the taste of it at all Bourbon with vanilla ice cream is pretty boom. Okay, I would definitely try that. But what kind of bourbon? Wax state. Welcome in, by the way. Beer brewing stream one. My uncle makes his own beer and he's been inviting me. He lives up in Michigan and he's been inviting me to go up there and make some beer with him. And I'm kind of tempted to do it. I just don't know when I would. Pappy Van Winkle. I have gotten the chance to try Pappy uh, once in my life. I forget. Was it a 15? It might have been a 15. Um, it was the same. It was the, my same coworker. Like it was my congratulations. Like it was a huge, it was like right before I left, it was like this promotion. Um, and it was a really big deal. And they had give, given me a bottle of uh, Blanton's. Blanton's. And then they celebrated with a taste of happy. I wish I knew the difference. I feel like it was a wasted like glass on me. I really do. I felt like it wasn't, I know. I felt like I was disrespecting it by my lips touching it. You know, that's how it felt between <laughs> Glyph Bar, welcome back in. Going to a baseball game solo was my favorite life hack as a baseball fan. That actually seems like it'd be really fun, Jorak. Uh, that's really cool. Yeah, for relaxing times. I think what's interesting in people watching is who sits together on their phones and don't talk to one another and look at other groups who have their phones all out in the middle of the table. Yeah, wait, Scythe, we were just on the same, we were on the same strain, yeah. Also, Stanley, Vaughn Zeppelin, hold on. Lots of, uh, first of all, clever wax scarecrow, guys, thank you for the follows. Vaughn Zeppelin, thank you for 45 months. Stanley with 20 months. And Ruby in with three months as well. Millie members only jacket merch when? The Millie members, I actually am still working on the Millie merch. I'm just like, I want this to be very special. And so I'm pro like, I'm putting a lot of time into it. Do you read a book in the shower with a cold beer too? Zippy? Zip it. All right. She's a small cat doing small cat thing. Yes. <laughs> Make friends with a bunch of dudes who role play as Vikings. Chances are one of them brews mead. We still never tried mead. We were going to try mead for Witcher 3 and here's a year. Here's a year later. Yeah, it is brawn. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It absolutely does. Um, I'm saving a bottle of old Ripple Vein Winkle 10 years for my wedding in 2025. Also, whiskey is never wasted when it's drank amongst friends. I love everything you just said there. Then that is just amazing. That will be truly special. That really will be. You can make it or buy it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make my own mead. I think I'm going to try to buy it. <laughs> I'm going to try to buy it. Uh, I'm okay with wine, but I don't like it. But I actually found one that I can say I actually like called Moscato. You like sweet? You're trying to get under my skin and it's not working. I see we're having another one hour, one hour gameplay extravaganza always always i know also shy boys welcome in and thank you for the follow as well yes here we like to actually connect with one another before we dive into the game it's crazy my favorite is also a vintage i've never heard of this one 
rogue status, by the way, welcome back in. My eye rolling says otherwise. That doesn't mean it's getting under my skin. That just means I'm tired of your sh No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Durn Durnum, Durnum, welcome back in as well. I just bought two bottles of mead last week. Is mead really actually that good? Like, what is the texture? What is the taste? How does it differ from something else? Yeah, I also like, I primarily probably enjoy white wines more than red wines. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. The red kind. Uh-huh. Whole Foods does a really good organic wine. No added sulfites, but expensive. Everything there is expensive, but my taste buds love everything at Whole Foods. I saw a mean making tutorial a few times, but I wouldn't trust myself to make it in a thousand years. Generic. I'm right there with you. Connecting and talking to people in stream is not allowed. Not allowed. Meat is delicious if it's done right. Can you go to like a, um, where can you buy meat? Like at a wine store? I know that sounds silly, but like wine stores will often have also like beer and different kind of drinks. Um, or does it, would it be at an ABC store? Do they sell meat at an ABC store? Jay, thank you for the follow as well. Oh, it is actually sold in an ABC store. It wouldn't be sold. I was thinking of Total Wine. Yeah, that's what I was, when I said a wine store, I was thinking Total Wine. I'm a cowboy. Office Depot. <laughs> Uh, for whatever reason, YouTube has been feeding me a bunch of shorts about making mead. Rest, are you asking to make we, uh, we, <laughs> hold on, mead? Did you look it up one time and now it's just flooding? It's flooding your feed now. Mead is usually really sweet since it's made with honey. Okay, so it's like a sweeter taste. That's not bad. Gotta run F8. Have a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. Since you people watch, would you say you're a good wing woman? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess so. I feel like long gone are the days where I try to like help a friend out. I don't know. I just don't really go out that much anymore. Uh, I feel like after 2020, like COVID, like COVID really changed like going out. I mean, maybe it was because of like my age as well, but it just like drastically decreased my desire to go out to anything other than like food activities like the beach maybe or something you say you're going to disney world with your mom this year the best place to try mead would be the norway pavilion at epcot we weren't gonna go to disneyland we were gonna go to harry potter world but now ah, uh, ah, uh, i feel like i would wait to go that's crazy too i love how you said the best place to go is the norway pavilion really i've actually heard i've actually heard pretty good things about the alcohol at disney han solo thank you for three months of continual support as well yeah those trips are coming up fast um yeah i'm actually gonna enjoy some time in florida basic meat is two to three pounds of honey and one gallon of water and yeast it's really that much honey i've become a homebody also and i went out all the time when i was younger it's definitely an age thing too same, I can't do high energy bars anymore since COVID. It's definitely since that. And then I think the combination with just getting a little bit older, I like breweries. I think breweries have popped up a lot and I think I am enjoying going to breweries more than anything else, but all right. I think it's time to get started, guys. It's been, a, you guys successfully got me to talk for an hour about, I don't even know, shower activities and, and, <laughs> and meat. I want to go to Universal so badly. It's amazing. We used to go more often when I was like a kid. And then I went to Harry Potter World when it first opened. And then I haven't been back since. And I think they've added like a million different activities. Um, I think they only had one roller coaster, maybe two roller coasters, because they had the big castle and then like the dragon ride. I think it was the dragon ride of some sort. Yeah. So yeah, maybe let me rephrase that from shower activities to... <laughs> I don't like hanging out at breweries because they never have liquor. That is true. Unless you like beer or a couple other things. Yeah, I could see that. Shower activities involving beer and toothbrushes. I will say that I think it's not weird to shower and brush your teeth at the same time. I feel like it's just making the most. I'm already in there. Good job, chat. No. <laughs> butter beer. I wasn't old enough to try the butter beer. Not the proper butter beer. I had the like kids version of butter beer. I think they had a kid's version. Crack. Almost two years of trolling. Such an admirable hobbit. <laughs> Crack. Thank you for 23, almost two whole years. And a tier three as well for absolutely everything. How are you? Thank you for everything. As an Irishman, I can partake in alcohol discussions as part of my culture. But I'm... <laughs> Oh, it's St. Patrick's Day is coming up soon. It's Pi Day, then St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, right? 
I think so. I think it's, is it this weekend? It might be this weekend, actually. Mm. It's not weird to shower and brush your teeth or shower and drink beer, but combining them is psychopath behavior. My stance on this too is like, yes, I do agree. Psychopath behavior. It, this falls along the lines of people caring about me putting my fruit next to my food. It will never impact you. It does not hurt you in any sort of way. It's just my personal preference. I think it's fine. My teeth look great. I think something I'm doing is working. So, <laughs> so I'm going to continue with my shower brushes. I'm not saying the shower is why my teeth look great, but it does remind me to, I think it definitely just makes me start my day off and be like, all right, I'm brushing my teeth. I'm doing it this time, this time, this time. Also, I will say like having Invisalign, you brush your teeth after every meal or snack that you have as well. So that's a lot of it too. If you use an electric toothbrush, it's fine. The, uh, well, obviously it depends on the toothbrush, but I have one of the Philips, like, it was the Philips answer to the Quip. You know when the Quip toothbrush came out? Philips created something kind of similar. And I do that guy, and I'm pretty sure, like, a decent amount of it is waterproof. It should be. It should be. Oh, I was like, did I play another game? The Sonicare? No, it's like a smaller version of it. Blackened, welcome back in, by the way. Mmm. After what we've read in Devil All the Time, I'm just glad to know you brush your teeth in general. Yeah. Yeah, it can get a lot worse. Do you have gum recession on your molars? Not that the dentist has ever told me. And I go to the dentist twice a year. Twice a year, I think. I can't focus on many things at once. I'd end up brushing. What? Gorm? Sorry, what? <laughs> As a coffeeholic, I'm jealous of your teeth. Any, my dad's like that too. My dad drinks coffee all the time and he, his teeth are, but tea actually can be quite staining as well. Tea's pretty staining. Mmm. Rhodesy, welcome in. I have had a couple people say that. Um, it's very flattering. It's one of those things that like, in another world, it would be so cool to do I don't know, audible voiceovers or something like that, but I'm not good at talking. I'm not good. Cyanide, good morning, Night City. All right. Well, we know what we're going to do. We know what we're going to do. Depp, thank you for the hydrate as well. Mmm. I'd get distracted. I can't walk and chew bubble gum. And I get, br yes, yes. And I can't brush my teeth and wash my, well, usually I'm not doing both at the same time. Usually, I think part of it too is like I'm usually brushing my teeth while the conditioner is setting in my hair because you shouldn't like rinse out the conditioner right after. Like I try to leave my conditioner in my hair for like one to two minutes. So it's the perfect time to brush your teeth, you know? Mm-hmm. Yep. Azo, welcome back in. Nox and y'all mad, bro. Thank you guys for the follows and welcome in. And also loving, loving capable. Welcome in. Mm-hmm. We're doing big things not good at talking all right let's go river river has to happen it's been a couple days okay this is what we're doing i'm not good at talking casta after an hour plus i <laughs> i'll be the first to tell you guys though that every time before intro i get nervous because i'm like i don't know what i'm going to talk about during the intro <laughs> And then here we go, like here we it is six years later. I'm still successfully talked at every intro for almost an hour. Uh-huh. Eternal, thank you for the posture check as well. All right. We're doing big man things, right? I do I need a I need a mirror to brush my teeth. Really? I need a mirror to floss my teeth, absolutely. But mm, 60, I believe, is the max level. Yes, correct. Am I gonna finish the game today? Noob salmon, wait, no. I don't think I'm that far into the DLC. Uh, River is about to be a thing. Also, we are going to go do this rogue gig real quick just to start off the day. And then we're going to go do the gig in DLC. But yes, okay. So if you guys are new, welcome back in or welcome in for the first time. If you're not new, uh, on Monday, we successfully completed nearly all the gigs that were attached to the main missions up to the point where we were. Now, I'm probably expecting us to get a couple more gigs over the course and duration of the DLC but we do have one for Rogue that we need to finish but she was like not she's not one of the main she's the fixer but to me I consider these ones like the fixers that the missions were attached to but anyways we're gonna do this one and then we're gonna pop over here do this gig followed up by get it together 
Yes, we got an oxalotl. We did. Luke, you're watching the Elden Ring playthrough. Oh, man. Oh, did you're <sighs> classy. In honesty, listening to you mention shower teeth brushing is actually a good reminder that there is always opportunities to increase efficiencies throughout our routines from day to day. <laughs> classy, I missed you. <laughs> I hope everything's going all right, by the way. My dentist did an x-ray on my teeth many years ago, and he came back and said it looked perfect, which was surprising, because I had holes before. Yes, I will need River's location. I will. Mm hmm I saw what you did with River. What do you mean what I did with River? I didn't do anything. It was mutual. Um, then another guy came in and handed another set of x-rays, and it turned out that mines were mixed up with another patient. It didn't look so good anymore. I would be pissed, too, if they brought in and made me feel like, oh, gosh. I've worked with bad communicators and those who are good and you're excellent. Oh, Sith, I appreciate it. I do. I think that there's there's definitely an element that makes you way more self-conscious of a, a pretty much everything you do when you're putting yourself out there and you're like communicating. Um, I talk about it a lot. Like when you're streaming, you're having to be very vigilant of multiple things that are going on at the same time. And sometimes I feel like my like what I'm saying or my speech is like one of the things that I give the least amount of focus to like I'm often looking at like chat the game thinking of what I'm going to say to you guys next like all of it and so I feel like to me I will always be the most critical of myself like through and through so like every time that I like miss a, like misspeak or maybe mumble or say something wrong I'm hyper aware of it in the moment Tonka, welcome back in. No, my hair was just wet, so it's still drying. So I just kind of leave it. I let it be wild whenever I air dry my hair. Vigilant about reading sus things. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. But I will say that I am comfortable with public speaking, which is, I guess you'd have to be half decent at communication if you, I, I don't know if you'd have to be great at communicating to have the confidence to be a public speaker, but I don't mind it too much. Knack, why you gotta bring up Morningwood? Why? <laughs> the unwarranted Morningwood. Come on, man. Presenting this summer at TED Talks. Let's go do this. I'm done with y'all. I am done. Did we get to the part where Spider-Man comes to save the day? We're waiting for that part, Robbie. Okay, we're gonna see what kind of day it is. Naughty bee. <laughs> Night City's on. Let's see what else. I said what I said. And I stand by it. I think we should do this one. Or is it almost out? No, no, it's good. London, thank you for the gift of Beethoven and also to Tonka. Tonka, welcome back in. Oh my gosh. I still haven't watched it. I know it's I know it's ridiculous. I still haven't watched it. Art, thank you so much. I guess part of it, yeah, I don't know. I'm really, I'm scared. I, I lived through it, and so I remember how I was during the interview, and so I'm scared to watch it. Again, because we're our own worst enemy. Are you doing Dragon's Dogma? Wait, wait, there were two things that I wanted to talk about. In uh, Dragon Age Inquisition is super cheap right now on Steam, and I'm thinking about picking it up. Dragon's Dogma, no, I'm not intending on playing it. Um, I've never ever played it. I've never even seen a trailer. I've only ever heard the title. Um, we're going this way. Thank you, Darpass. Um, also, Kings, welcome back in. And Scythe! Ah, Scythe! Scythe, thank you for the hydrate. Oh my gosh, Scythe, what the heck? I'm not scaring anybody. I didn't do it. Uh, oh, great, hitting this again. Talking and driving is too difficult to do. Look at the trailer, the new one that's coming out in March 22nd. Yeah, but guys, we have Knights of the Old Republic. I wouldn't be playing it anyway. So I have a question for y'all. I have a serious question. There's half a dozen crashes. There's more than half a dozen. Inquisition was probably my least favorite Dragon Age, but I think the new one that they're working on is a sequel to it. I think we're going this way. Mercer, welcome in. Also, give me a second to do that. Okay, fine, we're just hydrating now. We're done, we're done. Yeah, we're doing Knights of the Old Republic next. Mm-hmm. Bloody, if there's a will, there's a way. Let me see what's next. Okay. Kill the messenger is good. 
kill shot's good too. We'll do this one though. Yeah, Knights of the Republic's gonna be the next one. And then I don't know what's gonna be after that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you guys. You know I hold it close to my chest. Um, mostly because I don't even know what I'm doing next, but also I've learned that I changed my mind like that. But I was talking about something else. I lost it. Luke, thank you for the 300 bits as well. Thank you so much. No, we are going to do, well, we're doing this rogue gig first. And then we're going to do river. And do river. All right, I'm here. Whoa, whoa, Voldemar, those are fighting words. Yeah. Speaking of cyberpunk radio, what do you listen to in general? Gig hot merchant. Nice. Let's Keeps see. Night City alive. Without mm. it, we'd all beat each other's throats. Corpse, gangs, mercs, everyone. And where do fixers fit in? If one side starts to get too much power, a fixer can help tip the scales toward the other discreetly. That's actually Think a good point. It. Balance keeps biz from running dry. Anyway, why the lecture, right? Because it's time for a little intervention. On. Check the attachment. Oh, okay. That's it. Uh, gig type gun for hire. Uh, what do you mean? Add more. And also Doolin. Doolin, thank you so much for the tier one sub. And I'm glad to see you're enjoying your time here. Thank you. And Zoe, welcome back in. Spurious, I feel like I missed. I feel like you've been here for a little bit, but... Uh, you do know you were the one who kind of shot down River after using him for a sleepover raid. I did not use him for a sleepover. I want to make it very clear. I thought we were kissing. Not kissing. I thought we were kissing. I thought it was sweet. I thought it was innocent. I didn't know that that was what was going to happen. Oh, add more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fivu, or Fivu, thank you for the follow and welcome in as well. Yeah, we were kissing. I was thinking we were kissing. <laughs> I'm gonna be spoiled, but I want to be here to support you. So it's worth it. No, 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 no Like I I won't be playing this for too too long But I don't want you to get spoilers for the DLC because it's so good. Like I would definitely I'd never recommend spoiling yourself um, I know that's like probably worse streamer telling her viewers to get out of here, but Okay, I'm welcome in as well. The man did say To not jerk him around before you decided to kiss him Yeah, but I thought it was just gonna be this like sweet innocent moment that wasn't that wasn't me jerking him around I felt like that was me trying to see where it could go and if it had potential and I didn't know we were going all the way you know I didn't know it was going zero to a hundred uh Sargum and also Drog guys thank you for the follows and welcome in if you do get Dragon Age Inquisition I recommend getting Origins and Dragon Age 2 so I think if I get it it's probably just going to be sitting in my inventory for a while just because I think it's like 85 percent off right now so a lot of times I'm just buying games based off of percentages off, but I wanted to ask you guys, I'm kind of confused. I thought I saw, uh, life is strange. Is it true colors? Uh, my steam is saying that game is 70 something, 70 something dollars. Am I getting punked? Is that like the most recent one? I'm just, <laughs> it's like, I think it's 75% off right now. And it was still saying, nearly i think 15 dollars or something and so i went to look at it and it was saying some 70 something you also thought you were gonna check meredith's tattoos <laughs> it's the most recent one so that's why it's 70 something dollars okay all right that makes more sense yeah i think it's like a 70 some or i think it's 75 percent off i thought it was a bundle two arc but it's not i really thought it was a bundle. it might be with the definitive edition or something yeah Randori, thank you for the follow as well. All right, we're going to do this one in one second. I did think I was going to do that. I know. Also, your Last of Us Part 1 and 2 gameplay was dope AF. It was fun to see your reactions to Joel. Eternal Wavy, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. My Last of Us playthroughs. At the same time, the romances aren't necessarily the best written. They kind of throw you into them. I really thought that I was going to be able to play the scene without experiencing the whole scene. This ain't a scene. It's an arms race. If anyone's interested, keeps in history of prices and tracks deals. Wait, that's really cool. I haven't, I've just been going off of what's, um, I just will like check anything that's 80, pretty much like, I'd say sometimes I'll dip into buying something that's 75% off, but usually 80% or higher is where I kind of stick in. 
Andy, welcome back in. Scythe, I didn't ignore that question. Um, I just went straight into this gig, but primarily country, but I'll listen to just about anything. I say that, but my public playlists, like they're all over the place. I'm guessing you don't follow the stock market, but recently Militech has been lagging behind everyone else. Just scroll around Corporate Plaza and you'll see their HQ a buzz like a hornet's nest. You can tell they're just itching for an excuse to send the armed cavalry into the city. You've got reasonable people telling you not to get under corpse skins. And then you have Rebecca Price, who decides to open a store selling hacked and previously stolen Militech equipment. It's not that I don't value small business. On the contrary, it's just that not having an army on your streets is something I value more. Rebecca Price needs to disappear. The how is your call. I won't go into the fine details, and I'm sure you know what to do if any animals get in your way. They are all creatures should understand the importance of balance in our delicate ecosystem. Oof. The animals always mess me up. Mm-hmm. Is there a cat save St. Patrick's Day? No. But are you telling me you want to go back to Cat Saves Halloween? Because we still have never finished it and I want a whole playthrough. I would so be up for doing like a whole playthrough of Cat Saves Halloween. Or Cat Gets Medieval. Okay, after we finish Fable. When we finish Fable, we'll do the cats. We'll do the cat. Oh, but we were going to do Lego. Oh, but the cats. But the Legos. <laughs> cat Saves Spy Day. Okay, let me not, let me not, let me, hold on, put, put the firepower away. Yeah, I used to hate country, and then the older I got, like, I just have really liked it recently. Mm -hmm. Oh, come over to Ireland, and the people here lose their minds? I've never heard that. Reach the back of the store. Half this trash is older than me. Gong's actually come here to buy this shit? Shut your trap, Michelle. Got a customer. Oh. oh, that's okay. Oh, oh, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. All right, bring out the bad boy. Reload. Yeah, just chuck the grenades and dip. I don't have my grenades anymore. I have my sneaky skills that I'm not using properly at all. I hate country music, but I love country line dancing. Oh, I love country line dancing. It's probably about the only bar that'll still probably go to with friends. It's like a good old cowboy bar. Get some line dancing. Mm. Tracy, my location. Good morning. Oh, up against the ice cream box. Not even five seconds in, I know. <laughs> Eternal, thank you so much for the gifted sub to the channel and community. Thank you. The boot scoom boogie, if you will. Always. It's like a bee drill. Mm. All right, we should be fine here. Pick this up, scoop the whoop. Interview with the queen. Okay, we'll look at that later. We're gonna have a day where we just catch up on all of them. Scythe, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great Thursday? It's almost Friday? A great Thursday. Mm hmm. Here we go. Let's see if we can turn off the alarms. They just have messages. Be drill. Use horn attack. <laughs> Rebecca Price to Ben Larkin. Ben, listen, you need to start packing on the double for tomorrow. Our VIP client needs six more crates of untraceable MK31 HMG. Handle it, all right? Just use smarter peeps this time. None of those gonks who leave empty beer bottles and crates with goddamn grenades. I want this shipment to be the def definition of professionalism, okay? Take it seriously. Who's Ben? Who's Ben? Flip, flip, welcome back in. List of clients waiting for shipments. Ha, huh, ship to Brazil, Argentina, Alice, Pakistan, France, Scotland, South Africa. All right, we'll go over here. From the Badlands. Okay, basement's here. Scoop that up. I want to rip these off. Guys, Outlast Trials. Oh my gosh, I think they must have made it easier. Can anybody confirm, like, when they dropped the real game, did they make it easier than the 
the beta or early access duke duke i was wondering i oh my gosh duke thank you so much for 39 months and welcome back in you stinking lurky turkey how are you no i don't think we're getting better maybe maybe we are it's possible no it feels like night and day different it feels significantly easier duke thank you for almost like 40 whole months i guess almost it will be like four years at the uh, holy cow thank you for everything scoop that up grab this i'm glad you've been doing well ready for the summer if something goes wrong and you need to put your ass in the fifth then fyi there's stairs leading out the trash cans make sure your skull sponges absorb that i repeat it happens back of the store stairs trash cans simple right mm. the skull sponges nasty they saw your collab stream and they thought they made the game too hard okay i was talking about this this is just what happens one i have never collabed with four people two the first time you play a game when you're streaming it oh my gosh if i ever hop off stream and play a game for the like the second time i'm like wow i don't feel garbage at this game so it's really y'all's fault it's really at the end of the day it's streaming just reduces my skills okay drastically actually i remember one time when we were playing cod trivial even said he was like wow you're not half bad when you're not streaming excellent <laughs> so i'll take that equilibrium as a equilibrium sometimes demands sacrifices contract closed classy how do i hit you with the we missed you and now you say things like the fastest way to the skull sponge is through the eye socket i always talk about this in a fight go for the eyes Starting a new game reduces your skills. Well, yeah, absolutely. First of all, playing multiple games at the same time, but also playing a game for the first time live. There's so much going on in your brain. It's excuses for sure. And, I, and I'll continue to make them. Oh no. Mm. Hold on. Oh, but it's my, oh, but. Oh my gosh, I want to, but I'm not going to. Okay, fine, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. What is the hardest decision you've had to make up in the cyberpunk until now? Agreeing to kiss River, turning down Judy, knowing that it made chat disappointed, having to wear something other than basketball shorts. Out of those three options, is it out of the three options? You're doing a pie run for everybody. I guess I would say I, I just have to go with a classic apple pie. A good apple pie. Stop trying to make me finish the game. All right, where is River? Can you remind me where River is? Oh, wrongful carrot. Welcome back in as well. When I stated, wait, wait, wait. What I stated was perfectly in line with the unhinged nature of a Thursday stream. <laughs> it's on DMs. Okay, let me look at this real quick. Classic apple or blueberry pie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Blueberry pie is pretty good too. Or pumpkin pie. I'm a sucker for pumpkin pie. It's true. All right, let me see the location of this. I love the drawn on arrow. Thank you so much, Dark Pass. <laughs> He's really out here. He was always right here. Hold on. I guess that's it. Okay. That's very well done. Very well done. Pumpkin pie. I I completely forgot about pie day. I'll need to get some. I think not like if you not joking what's been the hardest decision is knowing that i never really wanted to i was open to explore my options with judy but i knew very early on that she just wasn't my pref oi i wasn't my preference pan am stole my heart from the beginning and then it was really hard knowing that i couldn't end up with her and I felt like my heart wasn't open for anybody else. And then River started as a joke because I wanted to, River kind of started because I did want to give him the benefit of the doubt. I really truly wanted to see why so many people disliked him. And what I found was that I liked him. I don't know why people hate on him so much. I don't, I think we just don't get as much time with him. I, I think, yeah, sure, his character might not be as well-rounded as Judy, but 
Yeah, not picking Judy was probably the hardest decision to make because I knew that 99% of the chat didn't want me to do that. And I often make decisions that I know chat's not gonna love, but something about this decision made it feel really difficult. We saw how much he liked River. I think he's so cute. He cooked us food. It was just he gave us a gun. I mean, like, he was like, it was there. He's clingy AF. I haven't felt like I haven't felt the clinginess as much as there's a little bit of pushiness. But I think at the same time, you're trying to microwave cook relationships in the course of like, like, think about it. It's like microwaving a relationship with any of these people versus like a slow cook. It's not a slow burn with any of them. You go zero to 100. Judy's feels a little bit more slow because you meet her earlier on and I think you could interact with her more throughout the the game. Let me see over here. River had a bad hand. He needed some love too. I liked him. I would have picked Pan Am out of all of them. I would have picked Takimura, honestly. I really liked Takimura. I know you guys thought I was joking, but I really liked him. I did. Watch it. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, that was definitely the hardest choice to make. You're not the only one that wants to be with Takimura. It's probably because River does the least out of the romance options. I guess so. And if they did that, then that's, then they've, I think that then that's the developers not giving, they didn't write as much into his story then, or into the options for you to explore within your relationship with him. Seamart, hi. Hello, long time no see. Keep holding on to Takimura. I'm gonna keep holding out for him, I am. He might come around. I did propose a date, but he never got back to me. He totally ghosted me. CG Brooks, hi. Uh, I'm looking for my crock pot out here. I'm not looking for a microwave, I'm looking for my crock pot. <laughs> what? Uh, my man, I think he needs some help, brother. <laughs> what do you mean relation? What are you talking about? What are you hawing to? He didn't want you, but not because the devs didn't program a relationship, but because you drive a clown car. Ah! Render, that's rude. It's just disrespectful. That was five streams ago. Okay, hold on. I didn't expect to go see hit my love in a dust storm. I think it's this way. <laughs> I can't see anything. I think it might be over here. I think it's somewhere out here. Ron, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. I hope you have a great time at the birthday party. That sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. This looks like the trailer park. I think this is it. Okay, I think we're here. A clown car would be more spacious if it were on this. Again, I said you can't get in it if you're over six foot. I'll have to get a new car if we're with River in the long haul. Okay, I did not, oh, this, I didn't think this through. I'm on my way, River. Looking for love in the middle of a field. <laughs> this is somehow very accurate. My, <laughs> what was happening? We were watching, my friends and I were watching The Bachelor. And my one friend was like, oh, wait, wait, I just missed that. AJ, oh, I just missed that. Demon, demon with the creation of your own. We were, it was something, some part in The Bachelor was happening and my friend goes, oh my gosh, that poor girl. And she's thinking entirely about the girl. And I'm like, oh my gosh, do you see all the trees in that jungle? And we just died laughing because somehow, I don't know if it's like I just always look at all of these details or side things over the characters and things, but I just would, couldn't be more disinterested in the girls as much as all the trees in the cool air. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are you on about, Brooks? Uh, Sinful, thank you for the follow as well as, is it Scarf, 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 see? I'm not saying this right. Demon, hi. I don't know what it was. It just felt very accurate. It's exactly you. Like somehow it makes the most sense. I started to rise, by the way. Wait, let me start this. Me, oh, it went away. Wait, can somebody pin that again? 
All right, we're gonna turn that off. Thank you for the stretch, by the way, Memphis. Yeah. Demon, yeah, Cyberpunk has been going well. It's good. I think I have a house here. I think that technically is my house. I started a rise, by the way, using your stream for help, and damn, you're so much better than me. Me with a rise? Did you find even less stuff? That was hard to find some of the items. <gasps> All right, I'm home, Bubby. Where are you? <gasps> Hi. Oh. These are all business conversations. All right, What's career switch. When's our new private detective starting up? We're still finding the means. Oh, Hasn't no. been easy, but the biggest hurdles are behind me. License, equipment, software. It's all in order. It's acting like a cool man. Just haven't figured out how to market myself. Aiming to specialize in anything? Kidnapping. What? Randy's <laughs> ordeal put a lot in perspective. That makes sense. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Yes, that makes sense. No, that makes a lot of sense. It was like, I shouldn't have zoomed in on him in that moment, you know? I know he's looking like a cool dude doing cool things. Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Oh, I think I missed Scabs my chance with him. Count title. Well, or Maelstrom, depending on the season. But I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They What's have wrong with his eye? for every occasion. Example. They sit you in front of a mirror with a shaving razor and tell you to keep going until red and pink turns to white. Oh. Uh, how are things with you and Han working out? They're not. He acts like nothing happened. Like he didn't cover up the mayor's death. Mm. Must be tough. I considered him a close partner. Maybe even a friend. So yeah, you could say that. Yeah, the eye's not my favorite part, but um... There's ways to avoid it. Needs a shoulder to cry on. Didn't have any blowback. I mean, for stepping into the Peter Pan. We're just case. sitting out here in the middle of a dust storm. No. It's only because of us. Gonagal closed the investigation. They padded their stat books, so we're in the clear. Trust you, bye. How do you feel about all this? I'll let you know when I know. For now, I'm just helping out Joss, enjoying some time off. Life should be back on track before long. Aww. He says, I, I'm kind of cheating on talking to her. Not really. I'm just talking to another guy. Relax. It's not like I'm What's sleeping with him. Sorry. Yeah. See, you Deep ever it. rub shoulders with FIA folks? Just so happens, yours truly got a covert mission from them. Got it done. <laughs> not all that covert if you're spilling it all to me. For real, though? Uh, Okay. Tell you over a beer. Here it goes. Okay, that was kind of rude, but that's fine. Demon, thank you for 25 months of continual support as well. Garrus is looking down from his spaceship. Don't try to make me feel guilty. Garrus was the first person that I ever embraced in a game. But I, it's not like I can go back to him. I have to move on. I have to... I... I... Ugh. Lady, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Dresky, have a good one. Thanks for hanging around. Took a trip to Dogtown. Technically, I could say I went abroad. Mm hmm. Tracked a murderer once who I went up abroad. There. Really? You find him? No. Locals beat me to him. Guy pissed off some of Hansen's goons who promptly zeroed him. Me? Yeah. Asked too many questions. Barely mm. got out alive. I'll fill in the blanks for you sometime. Uh, a beer? So that beer? Uh, Vanna, thank you for the hydrate. I will, okay, uh, like, full disclosure, the conversation's dry, but it doesn't mean it couldn't still be there. One hubby per game, so as long as they don't intersect. <laughs> Nobody does forget Garrus, that is true. Tell you more over a cold one sometime. Do you think uh, it's a seductive better. posture? That's it? We gotta hydrate. <laughs> mm. What's on your mind, V? Apparently nothing. Apparently you don't want to talk to me. If I go in here and I go to his bedroom, does something happen? See, this is, it's acting like this is a home. Redeem hydrate for River. Sounds like he's a bit dry right now. These are the kids' rooms. All right, we're gonna slowly back out of this one. London, thank you for the thousand bits. Wait, I can stay here. I now have a room in their house. 
No, no, no. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. No, this is his. He's letting us. <gasps> oh, let's look at his stuff. That's not me. That's the old me. Wait a minute. Chrome Night Love. Sir, what are you reading? Crowman's mask glinted in the light of the setting sun, like a beacon in the dark of the rotten city. Lucille's heartbeat began to quicken. Her legs trembled beneath her. <laughs> All right, I can see you, River. Okay, this is what you've been doing as I've been gone. All right, I get you. I get you. <laughs> Not the noir. <laughs> I see what he's been doing while I've been gone. All right. Uh huh. Hey buddy, so I caught up with the I caught up with the Rift the other day. He said you went private sector police consultant. I know you're riding a couch instead of the desk these days. It's not the only thing. But I was wondering if you still have old contacts I could tap into. It'd be great to hear from you. It's been ages. Cooking made simple with Frankie. If you're a stranger to the kitchen, jambalaya is a great first friend to make. There's no one single recipe for this traditional dish, which is typically made with whatever ingredients are in season. That's really cool. He looked up. He did his research before our date. The Smut Book Club confirmed. Stop, silly. Uh, I know. <laughs> Nilman, note, do not have a cast it to your home. A step up from going through someone's bathroom cabinet. How? I do want to know why it's showing, why it was showing that. Maybe if I sit. Will he come in if I sit? I don't think it's happening. Family jambalaya. Oh, wait, posture. I know. I think it's because the kids are out. Maybe if we visit him at nighttime, something's different. Let me leave real quick. Hold on. Let me let time pass and see what happens. No, you, you can't skip time right now. I'm yesterday's news. I probably can leave and come back. I think I can get out of the area and then push time forward, maybe? Woo! Time for some more rebirth. One day I'll finish it. How far are you now? Yeah. Free bites. Welcome in. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a couple of you guys come in and say something. Uh, I didn't try to. I'm coming back at night. Luke, thank you for two more gifted subs to the channel and community. Thank you so much. Um, let's see what happens. Time to reload a 30 hour save and choose to accept his advances after kissing him that night. I just thought that it wouldn't end it. I thought we'd still be able to pursue him. I didn't realize that it was done. I received word, Hassan, your acquaintance from the scrapper wishes to contact you finally. Naturally, I declined, oh, to hand him your contact details. That's a great fixer. However, if you wish to speak to him, I've sent you this coordinate. Hmm. Okay. The, um, yeah. That's nice. Beer stain, welcome back in. Luke, thank you so much. Merely the debt of gratitude he owes us both. You'll find him in long shore stacks. Okay, but first, I'm just gonna run back here one more time. Have you done your daily contacts list lately? Daily contacts list? What do you mean? Oh, he's not gonna like that one. Classy, enjoy the lurk. I played over 60 hours, I finally beat it, but I did not do all the side missions. So I'm going back to do those in your second playthrough. That's smart. I think especially for somebody who wants to know where the main story goes, I would understand not being able to like wait through some of the side missions. I think we're done. I think I've ruined it. I ran into the man's grill. We're definitely done. Yep, we're done. We're done. All right, going back to the map. Um, Floppy Pickle, did I ruin my chances when I told him I didn't want to be with him anymore? I'm assuming. Of course, Greg, I'm always going to drive this car. Of course, naturally. Also, London, thank you for the gifted sub to Beerstain, too. 
An awesome feature is the new game plus of Rebirth that allows you to keep the same quests you've completed. So you don't need to redo them on hard mode. Wait, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll go back and do hard mode on both of them before the third part. That's probably what I'd end up doing. I'm doing everything right away. I do know most of the story as I played the OG. Oh, that's a fair. Yeah, wait, that is a fair point. Yeah, I just naturally do a lot of the side mission stuff first. I still have the rogue date, but this is where I've been kind of waiting on the rogue date to get me back into main mission mentality. I still have Takimura. Isn't Takimura? Oh, you're talking about romantically? I guess so. He wasn't a cardboard box on wheels. There was something there. There was something there. Something. Just saying that you don't need to worry about missing quests in Rebirth because of the awesome NGF. Yeah, no, absolutely, Fruit Bites. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Semper and Zeke, guys, welcome back in as well. Luckily, my chances of the Meredith didn't change. It must have been love, but it's over now. We lost it somehow. There's also a side quest left in the base game that aren't technically on the map. Oh, sneaky side missions to the side missions. Have I ever seen the clothing here? Salisbury steak, welcome in as well. You should check out Detroit yeah, Become Human. Uh, if you go to my main channel, you'll find a whole playthrough of it. Yeah, I've played it. Our prices are out of this world. I played it Get on it? stream first, and then I also proceeded to play it on. Whoa, they do have kind of cool stuff. And then I also played it, uh, did a replay through, a uh, relook on my main channel. There's also some side quests left. Okay, so I saw that. No one can replace Kaden as video game number one cardboard cutout. I need to do a cardboard cutout of him on the new starting soon screen. I think that would be fitting or just a little bit of dust. Talavarian, thank you for 17 months. Hi, welcome back in as well. It's Thursday. Thursday, I don't really do overalls. Normally, it's like Saturdays and Mondays, but I haven't been wearing overalls as much. Where you tried to call everyone in contact list? I missed it. Oh, where I kept calling them? Oh, I haven't done that in a while. Judy gone. River wants none of it. Meredith moved on. Looking pretty sparse out here, Casta. Yeah, I guess I'm going to die alone. Man, would you look at that? On the bright side, I have Johnny, so I'm not really alone. Like if I if I go, I'm not I'm not completely alone. What happened to Judy? I just didn't want to romance her, but I will always stand by my statement that I think the alternative outcome with her is just as sweet. Her going off and learning a lot about herself, like moving or going and getting away from Night City. It's a really sweet thing to see her text about it. Like there's something that's really blissful in seeing that ending for her almost more than seeing her end up with us. The president would be nice. You have Johnny kicking you out of your own brain. So I have Johnny. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more. I'm sure Taki, Taki isn't done with us yet. All right, I kind of like these jackets. Hold on. Where has this shop been my whole life? What? <gasps> I love it. I love it. I love it. Buy everything. And also, what is this hat? I kind of weirdly like this. What is th Is this like a bucket hat? It's like, what's on the backside? What is the back? <laughs> ah. You just became a chatter forever alone. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is kind of cool. Secondhand speed addict. Okay, maybe not the shirt for me. Speed addict duo layer cutout. <laughs> speed addict. It's a radar detector. The battery hat for it. Yeah, the battery pack for it. They call me the jacket. The denim for a collar is a nice touch. Ooh, I do like a good vest. And it is green. Okay, I love a good vest. Are these the pants that I've been looking for? The top. Oh, the cargo. But whoa, hold on. Hold on. Okay, our entire style is about to change. I'm buying everything. Wait just a darn two minute. Hold on. There's a pig on this one. No, not the cargo shorts. Why do I kind of like them? No, not the big bird jacket. First of all, this isn't the big bird jacket. This is actually a chocobo outfit. You know, those are some damn good pants, but I just can't do the camo. But the pants are good. It's just the camo. Oh, no, no. Preview the picture again. Whoa, hold on. 
kind of a cool jacket. I don't think we've seen that before. <gasps> it comes in green. Okay, that's a nice jacket. We're getting the green one. Mm, I kind of like that one. You can never go wrong with a good like white tank top. So I think we should buy that. What is this one? Okay. Okay. The jean tank. Did you see a jean tank top? This one? Are you talking about this one? I don't hate it, but it's it, it looks like the missing half of a boiler suit. Is there a tennis top? I, I'll buy it. I'll buy it just because I do see the potential. I agree with you. There's potential there. Mm. I could somehow see me rocking this red, but this feels a little bit too on brand for Pan Am, so I don't want to copy your style, you know? Pretty much just pick one outfit the whole playthrough. Yeah, I would be more enticed if I could see her more often. Like, once again, the fact that it's uh, first person just stops you from kind of wanting to. Stop hoarding. Please give clothes to charity. I have so many clothes. Honestly. This color is kind of nice. <gasps> okay, that's the same top as the Speed Addict top with the cutout. I like that. But it doesn't say Speed Act Addict. Got a Lone Star belt kind of going on here. Lone Star buckles. Um, and the black. No, it's more like a croc print. Tonight's episode of fashion. I like that. All right, we're buying that one too. What about the shoes? Shoes are not it here. Okay, let's change. Okay, wait, wait. Let's change our look. What's the over under for a piece of clothing stuffed in Millie's trunk? Oh, that's a good question. There's probably over 500. There has to be. All right, we got to remove this. We got to, we got to. All right. We're switching up our chocobo style. It's been the best of times. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Oh, this isn't my stash. Hold on. I need to go to my stash first. I can't believe Millie has a stash to begin with. Just the fact that she even has a stash. Um, when did we get that yellow jacket? I kind of like that. Hmm. I need to pull out the right pieces for this. Maybe like, okay, I do love that top. That's such a solid top. Oh, these ones too. I miss my old style, guys. The basketball shorts. That was a style. I know you guys hated it, but it was something. And they have flannels too. I do like this. Oh, I have the red jacket. I think I have something similar. And then you can't go wrong with just the Witcher jacket. Yeah, this we're in technically in Phantom Liberty. Yes, we are. All right, I'm taking out the red pants. I'm taking out these red pants. I'm feeling red. I feel like I haven't gone red at all this game, and I kind of want to go in that direction. Hmm. Chocobo. I got to really mix this up. Let me get my cowboy boots back. Yeah, let's get those boots back. And then, okay, I think that's good. We have a lot to work with. I have so many outfits. I kind of like that blue hat too. Okay, let's do this. I know, well, I have, I think I have every color of the basketball shorts. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, basketball shorts were perfect for conquering the desert with Millie. They mixed together like toothpaste, beer, and cold showers. I can't. <laughs> The Fashion Punk 2077 for a game where you will barely ever see your outfit, but whoa. Somehow in Cyberpunk 2, whatever you throw on kind of works. You know, that still kind of works. Let's do no tips or tricks, y'all. Come on. Okay. I kind of like the yellow. I wish you could dye some of the tops. See, this was my favorite top because it is the plaid with the brown leather. What do you mean it doesn't? The yellow goes with the yellow. All right, hold on. Hold on. I got new. The It's the, it's the new pants that I want to see. I got these cargo pants. Not the blue pants. What are the new pants? These ones. These ones are nice. But they don't really go with this. With the gold accents. Mm-hmm. Oh, now that one goes underneath. I like the top. The whole outfit's not working yet. You gotta, like, give it time. Give it time. I want to make the red boots work, but they're so damn red. And not in a good way. Mm-hmm. 
I could go for the white clean aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Lucas, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But I love the aesthetic of it. I'm trusting the process. Just keep it, keep it trusting. Hold on. Unequip this. I do like the white hat. Let me see. I should have the right top for this. I think I got one of the right tops. This is a great top. I think I had other ones too. You think the red boots work? Mmm. My only tip is one car. Wait, wait, it was a free car. But looks like she's 100% sticking with Millie. I'm never leaving Millie's side. Millie was with me for the beginning. All right, we rise to the top together. These are not the tops. Blue. Let's see. Green is not a creative color. I kind of like this top, but I just don't think it works with it. Ugh. I love this top. It's just the pants. What are you supposed to put with that? You can't. You can't. Cobra, thank you for sharing that. I'm glad you're enjoying it and just the playthrough in general. The red provided contrast. Yeah, but you have to find like the right color with it. <laughs> I gotta get rid of this top. This top is not it. Maybe the white top? Okay, I'm going completely different. I do want to make the red work. I love the yellow. And the yellow boots do work the best. Wait, when did I get these bad boys? <gasps> the red accent with the black. <laughs> she casually kicks down a door before she <laughs> spits dip before she speaks and will backhand you if you disrespect Millie or Takimura and enjoys a good shower beard. That's a good synopsis of my character. Honestly, this is the hardest mission. Deciding what to wear. It is, guys. Because whatever I go with next is probably what I'm going to stay with. Oh. I kind of like those. I never even saw those. They're roses. There's roses on them. All right, hold on. Oh, I just love dull colors. I really do. But the red could work with that. It's a different kind of red. Questions? I know. Oh, uh, I don't want to change my outfit again after this. I'm pretty dead set on. Maybe I should go back to the chocobo look. Oh my gosh. It's not working. I like the beige. I do. Yeah, over the... I need the right top, but I think it's actually kind of working. Let's see about the hat. It's, uh, the hat is too bright. Hold on, let me switch up. Nope, nope. Take that, bring the hat back, bring the hat back. See, the top has to be something different. It has to combine like the white from the hat with the rest of it. Mm. I think it was that jacket that I had before. I think the gray jacket looked the best. I think it was this one. No. Lucky Aura, welcome back in and thank you for the 500 bits. And also the hydrate, I almost missed that. Mmm. Brutish, thank you for the follow as well. Mm. It's not working. If I could do a little bit of a different top than that. What happened to the one that I got that I really liked? There was one that I really liked. Wait a minute. Let me try it with this guy. No. No. Millie's good. Mods are great. Johnny is crazy. <laughs> This is a very productive stream so far, Voldemar. It was this one. Nope, just kidding. But I could take it that direction. I think it was this one. <sighs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not hating this. I don't hate it. I gotta get a different hat. Hold on, let me open this dash. Let me go hats. Hmm. Do I even have any other? <gasps> That's in my inventory. Hold on. Mm. It's okay. Oh. I was trying to organize this guy. 
No, I don't want all items. I just want hats. We still haven't figured Oh, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. I think. Let me just pull out any other ones if I happen to see. Yep. Oh, that's the same one. There's the black one. The black one could work. And then also. Hmm. Nope, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. The top half was fine. It's the bottoms that are the struggle in this outfit. Yeah, I don't like the hood on the jacket. I'm not not a big fan of the hood on the jacket, but the bottoms, really? I think the bottoms actually look kind of cool. I mean, I get the print is not for everybody. Cyberpunk is the fashion simulator. Yes, Mike. Mm. This is the hat's too white. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I think it came together. Be all. The print works fine because of the light shoes. I look like one of the avocados. Be all. Okay, let's get out of here. We like the pain. We like the pain. Uh, now we have to go all the way yonder, cross down, back over here. Pain. Pain. Oh, this song is such a. <laughs> I can't take it serious. We'll do a Sims. I'm telling you, I would play Sims, but I don't think I'd go to any other game after. Don't even start with me. It's not happening today. It's not happening today. I've given you guys so much. So much pon pon in the last couple streams. It's not happening. I'm too close, that's why. I'm used to being all the way back here. I don't know who can drive up close like that. Black and white before Sims? What is that? Jester, thank you for the follow. And I think I did say I had a brutish. I'm pretty sure I did. Watch out. Menace on the street. Excuse me? <laughs> He's like just another day in Night City. <laughs> Millie the Menace is on the prowl. Can I time out streamer? You like that thing? I'm not gonna give you guys a pon pon. It's my first ring bath though. Pon pon would be so nice. Oh, Lord, you look at that. It's gone. Sorry, classy. Next time. I haven't seen him in so long. I do feel like he used that to his advantage. Pain, but don't worry, we come back and pain's still on, but Pon Pon's gone. Zen, don't you dare. Not unless that thing is a hundred K. You said, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> not the right time, no, not the right time to look at chat. We have like a snake. We have like a snake. Oh, shit. No! Oh, I mod forward to Sims and create a huge house while wait, wait, filling it with other streamers. Is that what you said, Voldemort? Can somebody pin that message? We gotta run. Go. Hold on. And her mod team giving it Sims full freedom and it was chaotic. I'm sure. Millie. Millie, baby. Get Oh, Millie. They're catching up. Go. All units in the area okay. Oh. Has been restored. All <laughs> units instructed to return to patrol. Just a viewer. Thank you for 49 months of continual support. Thank you. How have you been around this long with this much of a shit show? We like the pain. Millie survives to fight another day with only but a door scratched. And a hood. And a hood's right there, yeah. That was like, I, it was too late and I should have just kept going straight. And I realized now that I needed to go up there. It's fine. But I don't, 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 don't. In Sims, you can't nuke your ex. Are you trying to say we need to go back to Mass Effect? Shoot. 
Gotta take another. Okay, Millie, you really got us in a bad situation here. I need you to U-turn. I cannot do that, Casta. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right, we should just be able to go down here. I fear no car, but that thing scares me. <laughs> Millie has a mind of its her own. All right. Watch out. Get a job. Stop scaring people. I'm not scaring anybody. Just a little bit of friendly dose of a daily heart attack. No, the driving mechanics are great. It's me, 100%. Disturbance reported in it's about 70% because Rock every time I look over to look at you guys, something comes out of nowhere. It's like a bird flies into my eye or something. But 30% is just my horrible driving. I'm not good with, uh, excuse me. I'm not good with a controller. We need to lose them before we go back into the city. Crap. 70% chance fault. All right, Milster. Oh my goodness, all the cops out here. We need to hide. Take flight. It's perfect. Somebody help me. Shh. <laughs> Didn't you find the smuggling tunnel? You're right, I did, you're right. We do have the smuggling tunnel, you're right. Forgot about that. Code zero. I repeat, code zero in this area. All units resume the- Okay, we're back to good. All right, Milster, get back out there. And again, this is why Millie is the best. Baby can flip like no other. And now she, and you're never gonna find her because you're gonna mistake her for a piece of trash on the side of the road. Cat's supposed to have nine lives. How many lives does Millie have? Oh man, Mike. The amount of times she's gotten remade, like she's busted. Baby busted. <laughs> so what's the goal now that Operation River was a bust? I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board. There's always Mr. The Hands. Mr. Hands or Takimura are gonna be my backups. Maybe Rogue, me. <laughs> no, I'm scared of Rogue, I'm scared of Rogue. I don't want to eat. Uh, whoa, and it's clear as hi, welcome back in. Wakako, Wakako and I have always had some good banter. No, no she doesn't. All right. Wake the fuck up, patrol. Civilians are acting up again. Transmitting cords. All right, it's time to ditch Millie. When times get tough, sometimes you just have to do a little evasion. Crowned, welcome in. Do you think you'll ever play the Kingdom Hearts? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I've been interested in it for a while. Um, yes, I, I would love to, long story short. It probably wouldn't be for maybe another year, just with how long it takes me to get through games, but I'm here. Ah, you're here. I okay. was just wondering if yeah. you'd come. Wondering that myself, Hassan. <laughs> Corpse got wide radar and long memories. Bye, Sidebeard. Have a like good this. one. Say goodbye. Thank you for hanging around, Sidebeard. Also, yeah, Shadow, yes, absolutely. I could have rotted in a uh, scav cage. You could have left me at the fixer's mercy. I could have. Could, would, should. Mm, 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 mm. Landed on your feet, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Looks like you're doing pretty well. Is your new pad? It is. It may not be a Corpo Plaza penthouse, but I can't complain. At least I didn't sign my life away to a bank. <laughs> Down payment came from me, though. Seems my cred bought you a second chance. Hmm. I, uh... Look at yes. his eye now. That's why I'd like to repay you. Yeah. So this is what happens what if you? you keep him alive. This is really cool. This is like one of the few, I think, gigs that we've kept a person alive for. 
yeah shadow and yeah shadow good night thank you for hanging around inside beard as well guys uh hope we get to see you tomorrow no saturday stream so tomorrow's my next stream and it's 12 to 5 12 to 5 tomorrow yeah huh don't know this Luke, model. get out of here ah it's something i was tinkering with i may not have been completely honest but the engineer part wasn't a lie i went to the stadium showed what i could do ambition and landed a few investors this is the Tech first pistol. real copy i made for you that's actually Thanks, really Hassan. nice no thank you now we are even it seems <laughs> you wish actually ending a mission half not half bad hard getting back on your feet so how's things rough time starting from zero i liked him well dogtown isn't quite the promised land is it mm. i've had to learn its ways but if i survived in the corp i can manage here don't take kindly to x suits here do they they he's got not, another chance at but life they do appreciate talent provided you've got the right skills you can earn your second chance mm. also math welcome back in and voldemar happy ending night city exactly i know final fantasy 7 and kingdom hearts are my two favorite things i'm so happy you're enjoying yes i'm loving it i just finished 120 hours in okay yeah i'm pretty much up to seven part seven and you're one of my favorite creator, favorite reactors. I really appreciate that crown. Yeah, I've had Kingdom Hearts on kind of my radar for a little bit now. It's definitely another childhood classic that a lot of people have liked and enjoyed. Um, I think I want to do Final Fantasy X first before I go diving into another franchise. There's so many Final Fantasies that I want to complete before. Oh. You're saying that he could be our romance option because he gave us a gun? Okay. This is an interesting way of thinking. I'm not opposed to it, though. Yanks, thank you for the gifted sub to Crown Gamer as well. And I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes crowned. Welcome into the community. It's almost bedtime also. Aging, no worries. Have a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in as well. Goodbye, guys. So, what are you up to these days? Overzealous, Honestly, thank you. The same things I did at Zeta Tech. Yeah, so hazing peeps and clepping their cred. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Repairing and modifying weapons and implants. Whatever comes my way. Sure, it's older gear, cheaper parts. Hmm. As long as... But at least there are no more suits breathing down my neck. Yeah, as long as it's not vegetarian, I think he's got even better chances than River does. Oh, let's look at his computer, though. Oh, I can't! I can't! Hmm. Bro him. I know I don't know anything about 10 it's just kind of the one that I keep seeing get recommended the most out of all of them for me to play I mean I think most people they want to see like all of them but 10 10 kind of piques my interest the most as well all right let's do this I actually did 10 to 10 dash 2 10 dash 2 I actually did 10 the sequel before the original because the original was sold out or something like that back in the day wait there's two parts to 10 I don't even know how it works. 10 dash two. Yeah, there's a sickness going around. I know Jess is kind of, Jess is feeling pretty sick too. 10 breaks your heart so bad. No, don't tell me anything. Spoilers, don't tell me anything. No, that is something that I have heard. And I think that's why, weirdly, why people want to see me play it because I do throw my whole heart into every game I play. Oh, X is a let's play. It's not, no, Final Fantasy, I, do, I mean, I don't want to like say this with like, I guess like a definitive response, but I just think that Final Fantasy will always kind of be a YouTube situation. Yeah. Face King, don't look at me like that. Cheating on Cloud. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I kind of already did with 16. I mean, 16. To be fair. What are you doing? 16 was loaded with uh lots of good moments they went to the city to pick up the merch. yeah youtube i think because i started final fantasy on youtube i just i feel like that's where it kind of will always have the place to go up my wounds boy not even clive i mean clive yes but not even clive ah! <laughs> 
do that. It'll buff out. AJ, I hope I get to see you tomorrow and it will be more EU friendly. So hopefully we get to see you for a lot longer tomorrow. <laughs> yes. I enjoyed watching those blind early Queen's Blood matches and the overconfidence getting crushed a little mystical. I just really thought I had it. Like, I'm pretty good with minigames, and I thought it felt like went. Yeah, every time I talk crap, I get hit. Like, truly, talk shit, get hit. No kidding. Really? A 16 divisive? I loved it. I loved it, but... I mean, I definitely could kind of say more to it than just that. I think maybe the overall story wasn't... I, I definitely didn't enjoy it as much as Seven, but Seven's been my first, so it will always remain my favorite. There's just a sweet spot you have for your first. Thank you, Millie. Um, but... Okay. Here we go. But I did enjoy 16. I did... Um, there was a little bit... Oh, here we go. Hold on. I had a nightmare recently. I had a nightmare. Then lost consciousness and woke up. My client, Indira Baratza, won't be so lucky if she doesn't strike a deal with her blackmailer. Mm -hmm. The lowlife in question, Milko Alexis. Oh, the Voodoo Boys. The Voodoo Boys. You know what to do. Seven, if part one. Unclear, read the attached details. Beautiful dream. Uh, yes, I will say I would most likely recommend seven, part one as your first introduction. That would be my, I mean, but that was my introduction and it made me fall head over heels in love with the world of Final Fantasy. And then I went to 16 after that. I wasn't disappointed. And then I'll keep you updated on when I go to 10. I'm going to play a couple of shorter games before I go back to 10, but it will definitely happen at some point in time. And nine is my only Final Fantasy that I've played more than once. Yeah, I am looking forward to being able to go back and play hardcore mode. I think Y'all had made the suggestion, would you do it before part three? And I think that's a great way to kind of like get back through the story and remember everything four years from now. <laughs> 16 lack the banter. Yeah, I do agree. 16 is, a, well, and also 16 is just a little bit more, gosh, I mean, I talk about it all the time. Final Fantasy VII has a lot of serious topics and conversations, but somehow it all still feels pretty light. There was a lot of hard situations going on in 16 and it the banter sometimes brings you back into just it's still a game that you're just enjoying playing no matter what's going on um there's a lot of times that i like cyberpunk is a hard game there are a lot of hard topics and you can actually go as in-depth on it as the creator as you want to um i feel like with final fantasy 7 it has this beautiful sweet spot where it's still keeping the story kind of light, which when you're playing a game, you kind of want that. And also, I, I guess it was at the time, a lot of people would have been a lot younger when they played it. They still had places like Walmart. Yeah, Walmart that were like pure fun. But I, I would assume, I mean, back when I was just like a regular consumer of games, I just wanted to play games that would kind of make me still have fun while connecting to characters, seeing development in their growth as a character, but overall not make me feel crummy seven still has placed the way i saw that seven straight up anime walmart no walmart wall market also jalapeno thank you for 14 months and rocky with two jalapeno thank you so much and yes on to month two rocky i'm glad to see you're still enjoying your time here thank you so much i really do appreciate it um my thoughts on Jedi Survivor. Much better than the first one. Would definitely recommend. Did you say you have another short game uploaded soon? Kind of like Florence. Yes, I do. If you guys liked Florence, tomorrow 4 p.m. will be... Oh, I'll be streaming. But tomorrow 4 p.m. is another short game similar to Florence. Um, I definitely wear my heart on my sleeve in that one too. Kingdom Hearts 2 is definitely my favorite video game of all time. But I feel like I'd have to start with the original, right? Because they haven't remade the Kingdom Hearts, correct? I bought 16, then sold my PS5 to get a laptop. I miss the PS5. I do use my PS5 pretty regularly. Thoughts on Jedi Survivor? I see it on sale on Steam and I enjoyed Fallen Order. How much is it on sale for? Um, regardless of the sale, I'm about to run to the bathroom too. That's why I'm kind of talking real quick before we do this gig. But, but regardless of the sale, Survivor was one of my favorite games that came out last year that I played. I loved it. Mass Effect was, pro Mass Effect was one of my favorite series probably from that year or witcher 3 i guess that was a strong year it was witcher 3 mass effect um 
gosh i played final fantasy part one last year there's so many great games i played last year but survivor is so worth it especially if it's on sale for 30 bucks it got kind of some bad rep at the beginning because it did have some like bugs and situations but once i worked past the intro or actually i think once i fixed my computer i didn't have the same issues i think i was fine I want to play Control. Control's what's stopping me from playing Alan Wake 2 because I want to play Control first. Yeah, better hammer, by the way. Welcome back in. I know you just followed more recently, so it's cool seeing you back here. I actually really enjoyed watching Florence. It was kind of nice when you try to explain the story with a couple of hours, a story that's only like meant to be 45 minutes, and somehow I talk for 30 minutes after the story's over. Uh, that's when you know it captured my heart. Kingdom Hearts must be played in order for you to get... Yeah, or you'll get confused. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think they fixed a lot so far. So I would say it's so worth it. Um, one of my favorite scenes in a game in a long time is actually in Survivor. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but come back after you get it and I will tell you, I'll tell you the scene. Um, but it was like one of the first times I think we'd kind of seen this thing that they did and it just gave me goosebumps chills it was unreal if you guys were there then you remember the moment i'm talking about the story of kingdom hearts is just beating things up with a giant key oh that's the that's the premise of it i gotta imagine there's gotta be more to it than just that otherwise it wouldn't have that many people obsessed with it also ziggy thank you for the hydrate okay i actually need to get water before i do that hydrate so give me a second we're gonna read the details on this i'm gonna leave you guys with mm, if you want a true spinoff of final fantasy play some nautica it's underrated compared to Alan Wake. Yeah. Well, and even um, Sam Lake talks about how I think they had kind of recommended to play it. They do recommend having played it before doing Alan Wake 2, just to add a little bit of additional insight into your perspective with Alan Wake 2. All right. I'm going to fill this bad boy up. It's going to take a second and I'm going to run to the bathroom and then we'll be back. We'll do this gig. We're going to get back on main missions and see where we end up. This next one's probably going to be a long boy, I'm assuming. So it might be the only thing we get done. Also, Sad Carly, thank you for the follow as well. Control's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, real quick, Floppy Pickle, like, how long do you think this next main mission's going to take? I'm trying to decide if we should do it before we do the gig. Cat loves Subnautica. I probably would. I probably would like it. Oh, it's short. Oh, OK, OK. We'll do the gig first then, because it's already here. We might as well do it. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. Ginger. It's not happening today. She doesn't want treats. She doesn't want to be in here. Rocky, thank you for the 200 bits as well. No ginger today. She's a sad girl on Thursdays, I guess. I feel like she only comes on on like Sundays, you know? All right, let me see. Okay. Also, bank shot. I just saw that, but bank shot, welcome in. Uh, no, I haven't finished it yet. I'm over into chapter seven, but the last episode that just got uploaded was under Junon. Yep, and welcome in, by the way. And Composure, thank you for the follow as well. All right, sorry, this thing takes forever to fill up. And I had, okay, so this looked better than it was. Have you guys tried coconut water? I just, I bought four, so now I'm trying to drink them, but it is just not the thing for me. It's just not it. Do you like it? I'm trying. It's like this, like, harmless harvest organic coconut water. And I think it's flavored, but I can't. I can't. I love coconut, though. It did not land well. I'm trying to drink them. Great and natural electrolytes. Let me try again. I'm going to give it another go. Just because I'm craving, like, something else besides water. Depends which brand you get. Oh, my. Okay, well, it might not. Okay, there we go. Huh. It's good if you get the right brand. Okay, that's two people that say that. What? Okay. What's a good brand? This one was from Target. Are you talking about the one that's in the box? I think I've tried the one that's in the box. Drink carbonated water. I don't have any carbonated water anymore. I ran out of my, my last can today. My last can? Only if I'm stranded on an island. I just don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. It actually... um there was a time where I was really obsessed with cactus water. Cactus water was pretty good. Mm. You know, I've never tried the body armor, but I know what you're talking about. Kirkland Costco ones are directly from the coconut. Do Kirkland anything is so good. Kirkland flannels. Uh, please. I'm trying to get a Costco card. 
Are you going to play OG FF7 before part three or after? After. Nope, after. I've already made it this far. Um, I know it's going to be like three years before the next one comes out, but I'm willing to wait. Uh, that way I can kind of have this fresh perspective for all three of them. Mm-hmm. Once you go pink coconut water. Why is it pink? I am trying to figure that out. It's pink. Don't worry. It's natural. If you leave pure coconut water alone, like we do, varying antioxidant levels can cause a pinking over time. When I saw the pink, I thought it was a flavor. I didn't know it was just pure coconut water. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It could be sooner. It might not be three. Yeah, which is even more reason to wait. Aloe vera juice. I don't think I've tried that. Yeah. Oxidized. Riveting. That tasted pink. That tasted purple. Indira Bazara wouldn't be the first or the last to fall prey to the Voodoo Boys blackmail. What's interesting is the gang seems to have only the technical employees of their corp, of her corp, in their sights. They made our client an offer that she couldn't refuse, cooperate or die. Indira chose a third route, call me. The Voodoo Boys threatening to hack her lungs is the one Milko Alexis. See to it that he kindly leaves her at the grapple. Ah, Amish. Amish, thank you for 29 months of continual support and welcome back in as well. Mmm. Wait a minute. You said that the dev said it might be closer to four years. I'm going to be over 30 when the next one comes out. Ah! Ah! <laughs> the bottle's too small, though. For which one? The Vita, the Vita coconut water. But it's so expensive. Like you said, this was like five, maybe 550 for four bottles. No, I haven't tried it at all. Speaking of purple, do you remember my original color? All right, I'm just going in. Kelly will be younger. <laughs> Kelly will be younger. 550 for four bottles is good. There's a reason it's 550 for four bottles. Probably. I probably did just go with like. You're right. You're right. Hmm. Huh? From a day old coconut. All right, Moon. I mean, I hope that's not going to happen. Oh, you're talking about from straight from the coconut. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure this should be safe. Yeah. Yeah, did they even say when it's going to go to PC? I think you guys had said like a couple months. Also, Vidman, thank you for the follow and welcome in. And Warrior, I had two hydrates before. I have been drinking so much water, though. Been on my water game. Good morning. Somebody coming up here. Mm. That glitch was ridiculous, Fang Shot. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the playthrough. I did you say that was that was a fluke and it cost me. Do you know I had to redo everything in that area? Everything in that area. That's why I was wearing one outfit for that video. And when that happened, I had been recording right before a stream too, so I did have to go to stream. But I just was so disheartened by having to redo like the 30 minutes that I had done before. I think it was like 40. It was like 45 minutes. And it didn't take that long to get back there. But in my head, I was like, all right, I need to just go relax and then I'll come back to it. I'll get back where I was. <sighs> These always happen. These things always happen. If you hang out in the community long enough, you'll find that I somehow managed to get myself glitched every time. No. Oh. Man, but everything with Final Fantasy has just been incredible. Oh, let's get that to do that in the shoot overload. All right, we need to, it's cause I didn't drop off my clothes. I have so many clothes. It's a real fantasy. I mean, yeah. And just every experience that I've had from the, like, I mean, obviously starting with the game, 
but then like being welcomed and seeing just the loving community behind the game the minds and creativity that goes into it all right let's see I don't know what it was, overzealous. I keep thinking it's not yellow. It wasn't. It wasn't pink. Was it pink? Cloud, hi. By the way, was it pink? Yeah, Billy. This is a sick ass sniper rifle. I'm out. This is one that we just picked up from DLC. So I am glad. I'm really glad that we ended up going with at least one DLC weapon. That's our person. That's our person. That's that's not our person. That's not our person. Uh. Oh, snap. Crackle pop. All right. Was it pink? Uh, no, it's not silenced. That's the only thing is it's not silenced like Pan Am's rifle. The yeah. rifle that Pan Am gives you is silenced, which it does have its benefits. Fun. I love the camo. Honestly, the camo is beautiful and I love it and I want it always. All right, we're gonna go pew, pew, pew. Okay. Get rid of all of the little gremlins and then we'll be good. Oh, is he spawning? I think he's spawning new ones. Okay. Our pink wave name changed it, but that wasn't started because his name used to be pink, right? Oh, Billy, the DLC is just... I mean, the base game I enjoyed, but the DLC, unmatched. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Hit him with the Widowmaker. Oh, funny, crate. When did the chat go pink? You guys did eventually change them back. Classy, thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. That was like right before. It was the wave of the pink. 100%. Whoa, 100%. Oh no, now I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, all of them are coming out to play. Here we go. This can be there. All right, pew pews. Nice. Uh, not everybody did, but overzealous. I just want to know. I just want to know. What was the original color? Did you tell me and I didn't know? I think we're going to have to go for killing him. I feel like he's going to keep respawning others. 62. Also, I think he's somewhat a kind of a ceiling. You're instructed to reveal yourself. Does this help you? Yeah. There's somebody to my right? <coughs> oh. Classified. Hold on. Twenty nine percent. There's some serious mind games going on. Pave! Pave, welcome back in. Save me from this chaos cloud. All right, guys. All right, the rise of the... Y'all are like the coconut water is pink. Now we're pink. All right, let's execute him. Yeah. Nice. Human life signature detected. Now it just all looks pink. Evacuation protocol. Lights out. Unlocking Thanks for the follow. Welcome exit. in. Snuff high. Jasmine, guys. I didn't do it. 
now it's just all everybody with the pink name is getting ignored so all the people that normally were pink are now getting ignored yeah that was not bad pink is not a creative color just like your favorite red rising color and my future smut fan fiction version <laughs> Oh, I can't stop. Oi, bruv, let me get the squeed. <laughs> I said it one time, and I didn't say the particular color because it was my favorite Red Rising class. It just was the first one that came to mind. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Just straight crazy. Okay. Find Milo. The Weechies. Asian Glow, welcome back in. Oi, bruv. Uh, Rosellas, maybe that feels like an HR complaint somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about hey, that one. Hey, oh. careful with that. I'm linked to the runner. See? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh? Yeah, he's a dead man anyway. Netrunner, blackmailer. <laughs> Murderer. He's my hit. He has some dirt under his nails, yes. But Milko, he's a no one. A small fish in a big I pond. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. Hmm. My name's Lizzie Wizzy. <laughs> a real pleasure, Alan. My chums call me Lizzie Wizzy. Mm hmm? I can prove it. No need. I like corpos even less than I do gangoons. That's why I'm not going to waste my breath on a corpo this time around. Kind of looks cool, At though. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine. But so much is a twitch, and you're a flatline. Mm. That's it was better. a real thing, Voldemort. No. Listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Okay. Want to stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers like Milko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. Hmm. Here to protect my client. Well, got fingers crossed for you. But don't count on my help. Safety of my client's my only priority. This client of yours, a corpo, engineering type, that fits the voodoo's typical target profile. Mm-hmm. Either help with the hacking or get hacked, huh? What's the angle there? The voodoo's get their hands on old military tech. They want to dust it off, get it running, which means they need experts to reverse engineer it. Hmm. Where'd they get the tech from? I'm probably just scavenging for it, right? Ginger! Oh no! Also, Lord, thank it's you for the hunter bits and the kind words. No, I told I I really appreciate that. Thank you. Also, Arctic, welcome in as well. And I hope you have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. You can't just find this stuff lying around the streets. They'd still need a contact no, for it, you're right. But you to can get external. Beneath them. Dogtown was built on an old Militech bunker doing. complex. Why do you oh, think yeah. they built that wall? It started as a secret military project back in the 20s. A total failure. Mm. Merely to cut their losses and filled it with quicklime. Beat-ups change but your color vibe. some persistent groups have managed to scavenge the labs. Even today. Let me let her in just so she doesn't get frustrated because she's going to get angry at me if... Come in. Okay. Think it true. Okay. Yes, I see you. Why do they want this tech? I know, I know. Right now, I'm in the middle of a, I'm in the middle of a conversation. I'm in the middle of a conversation. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, no, clout. It's your decision. Wow, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. So the channel immediately, it was two seconds. It didn't even count as getting out of my seat. Can you say thank you, clout, for the five gifted subs? Thank you, gee, thank you. Yeah, she says, you never let me have fun anyway. We'll ask this one. I'm London. still missing the why. They want to open a museum, sell tickets. 
Hmm. There are plenty of people willing to pay good money for old hardware. Developing countries Maybe rarely please. see better than bootleg corp tech. A lot of buyers might not even realize the Voodoo's product is outdated or even obsolete. Oh, that's fair. Suba, welcome in. She's almost 18. She'll be 18. Well, not almost, but she'll be 18 in August. Yeah. Sand, Take thanks for the true. follow. Welcome in as well. And London with the gifted sub to Tyra. Tyra, welcome back in too. She just wants cuddles. She just wants cuddles. Ginger chooses dialogue. She would choose the worst options. Look at all the hair that floofs up. She doesn't want to say much. She just hangs out. It's your decision. Yeah. She just wants cuddles. She's been such a cuddle bug, like nonstop the last couple weeks. She'll need to get a job and start looking for a house this year. It's true. They're saying you get kicked out of the house this August. Do you have anything to say to that? She says no. I don't talk anymore. I don't talk anymore. Um, I came across some combat bots here to protect my client. Let's guess you'll that. have to manage without Milko. Oh, do not do this. Ginger, you're, you're gonna get me killed. You're gonna get me killed, and I definitely chose the wrong option. Dang it, I chose the wrong option. I should have done others. Good luck finding a house in this market, Ginger. She's like, I'm gonna have to go and find a dog house at this rate. All right. You've got so much cat hair all over the place. I'm gonna have an allergy attack again. Oh my goodness. I see you let go. I don't have, you want treats? I don't have treats. I don't have, I do have treats. Okay, let me let the door be open for her. Okay. Ugh. You got cat hair all over the place. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. All right, let me see. Um, all right. I made my choice, mostly because Ginger was distracting me, but we did make this choice, so we gotta stick with it. <sighs> a cat spurter, I know. It's horrible. She's shedding nonstop right now, and I don't even brush. She doesn't like brushes, so I try to just like... Gotcha, I know I see you. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right, we'll give her some crunchies. Violence wins again, and we're probably doing something wrong with this, but client's a client. I'm a merc. I mean, at the end of the day, dem's the rules. Not here to make friends. Dog tag. I know. Joey, thank you so much for it. Dark Pass, thank you for the 500 bits. London with the gifted sub to Novin. And Joey, thank you for 28 months and welcome back in. Thank you. Mmm. Yeah, I feel like my nail just brushes her out perfectly. What is happening right now? Lucky Aura, thank you for the 500 bits. Zen with the 200 bits. Luke with 200 more bits. What? Flu, thank you for the five gifted subs as well. I'm gone for one second. What is happening? All right, bye, Ginger. Bye. Bye, buddy. Guys, thank you for a hype train. What? <laughs> Classy. Sorry for asking who your editor was twice. I didn't hear you. As was muted. Also, it's better Twitch mod. You make free emotes. What do you... I'm sorry. What do you mean? I'm confused, like... All right, we're going to take him out. Amish. Ginger. Amish, thank you for 10 more gifted subs to the channel and community. Y'all. When is chat not going crazy? Oh, guys, thank you so much. If you have gotten a gifted sub, I hope you all enjoy your time here. I hope you guys enjoy the emotes. Clout. Better TV. Oh, you're talking about for those free emotes. No, I wish you guys could see Ginger. Clout. Thank you so much for 20 gifted subs to the channel and community as well. And Luke with 200 more bits. Okay, all right, Ginger, bye. Cloud, you are bananas. I think we just need to, we just need to, I feel bad. I feel like we should, we should unplug him first. This feels of, yeah, I used to have the cat cam on more regularly. More of y'all's names are pink than ever. 
Amish flu cloud. Guys, thank you for all the gifted subs. Okay, what's done is done. It's time to go. The uprising has begun. You know how hard that would be for me in the long run though, if it was always the same? If it was always all pink names? Guys, thank you so much. The pinkness is spreading. It's like a plague. I mean, we did what we had to do. I did what was necessary. <clears throat> Mr. Hands might not be happy about that. V, v, v. Do you know why I enjoy working with you? Mm. I don't have to tell you twice what needs doing. Our client can rest Boy, easy here. now. Job Hello. done. Transfer Hello. sent. Contract mm. closed. Hello. Mr. Hands romance option? Aaron, welcome in, by the way. Oh, I actually have to read the names. I I do. It just helps me be faster by knowing the color with the name. Choco was always pink, though, so that's not... No, Choco. Choco... Or no, what, wait, was Choco purple? No. Okay. Pharisee, thank you for the follow and welcome in. And Aaron. Aaron, of course, of course. I hope you enjoy the 70 emotes and thanks for stopping by. Dan, even thank you for the follow as well. Come on, Millie, this one time, take somebody out. Run him over. Run him over. Go, Millie! No! Okay, we're gonna have to revenge. We need revenge. We need revenge. This man has taken us out one too many times. He caused Millie to break. Blood must be paid. Don't say deserved. <laughs> deserved. Classy, did you miss the CQC sniper? Should be it. Luke. Also, BG, thank you for the follows. Luke, yanks with the 100 bits, first of all. I really enjoy coming back to pink hype trains. Kind of like their car. <laughs> Luke, thank you for 500 more bits. You're getting spoiled. We're, you also, you have to tap out right here because we are about to do a main mission. We're, we're seriously about to do a main mission quest here. I, I, yeah. If there's ever time just to pop out for a second, it would be now, I think. As much as I hate telling you that. Well, now at least Millie's not dead. Let's get back in her. Vengeance, thy name is Millie. Or Sparky. Sparky. Darpas. Stop trying to keep this hype train going. She's not here. Darpaz, thank you for five more gifted subs to the channel and community as well. Oh, wait, she's... Oh! Here she is. All right, she, we ride for Rohan. Novin. Novin, thank you for 500 more bits. London and Jasmine with both three gifted subs to the channel and community. I wish you guys could see the alerts. I feel like you guys are getting robbed of so many cute ginger alerts right now. Jasmine, London, thank you. Why is there a level five hype drain? The pink plague infection. Y'all are just, y'all are the bee's knees. The end Come is on. No, Come on, Dirge. Come the on. Dirge. It's always, I always read that as CAC too. But it's not what we want. It's not happening. I feel like Pod Pond's gonna come on. I'm gonna, I'll throw the dice and we'll see what happens after. Shin, have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. Oh yes, of course, of course. Mm, I hate this area. It's like the one spot that you have to do the circle. 
the blue knees. The pink knees. It's just the blue knees creature, but it's all pink. It looked like a giant piece of gum. It looked like some chewed up and spit back out piece of gum of some shit. <laughs> Sorry. The heavy hearts. All right, guys, we're officially getting back on main mission of the DLC. Or are we? <clears throat> we're up. <sighs> no, no, no. Okay. It's a club. I think we need a club outfit. No, 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 no. The car missions are awesome. I know. I'm trying to resist the temptation. I also have cat hairs all over me. Ah. Good idea. Good idea. Hard save. Leo, hi. I'm literally dying. Hello. No, 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 no. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I'm resisting the temptation. Hey, you there. This is a nice place. So play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. Everywhere. My name's Candy. What is this growl? Ugh. Ooh. It's honestly kind of a really cool... I like that. Nice light. Hmm. It's oddly quiet. I feel like there should be mu Oh, there probably is music. Oh, is it streamer moding me right now? Oh, thank you, Classy. I'm getting streamer moded, and this is so awkward now. And that makes this situation like 10 times. More awkward just hearing VIP area. I am VIP. Jack, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, the chatterbox is. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Get it. Do it. Get it. Do it. Get it. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Get it. This is a cool bar, though. I feel like I want to like rush through the sequence, though, because it feels just awkward. Proof that DMC ruins immersion. Something back here, though. They look so serious. I know. I think we should see what cocktails they have. A lot of security high profile. A lot profile. of hustle around. Yep. Got big guests in from the city. Mm hmm. Almost just imagine every day. Pon Pon. We get all kinds of traffic in here from peeps looking to settle their biz in peace and quiet. Not many sides us can offer that. We can get a shower beer? Love to see what you got. Yeah. All kinds of good stuff. Take a look. Martinez, thank you for five more gifted subs as well. Wobs, welcome in. I don't know who that is. Yeah, IQ, thank you for the follow. Martinez, thank you so much. Guys, I hope y'all enjoy the sub and the emotes. Wait, you're right. Military grade lactic acid recyclers. Nice. Also, just because I know I'm always wanting to buy the artichoke and avocado pizza. What I tried in real life. We'll see. Uh, Yanks. No. Is Pon Pon still? Uh, Pon Pon's not accessible anymore, right? Guys, thank you for a level six hype train. Another hype train tonight. Y'all are just the bee's knees. Only if they put. You in a rush to get somewhere? I am. It was just during the intro. Okay, we are not cursed by it here. Let's go look at the bathroom Watch too. It. No, why am I yawning? Ah. Can see some mushrooms and hoppy beans at Corporal Plaza. Oh, I could see that. And now, and now I'm here. Hmm. Um, I don't even know how far I am into the DLC. We're just doing the mission for the Heavy Hearts Club. Oh, oh. TJ, welcome back in. Do you hear some... Somebody sounds like they're... Like dying or dry heaving. Uh, no, we haven't even finished the main campaign. We're holding off to finishing it till after the DLC. I feel like that artichoke wouldn't be that terrible. I'm thinking like, uh... Artichoke dip, 
What is it? The cheese feta, feta in order to the pepper? The avocado wouldn't go with the tomato sauce. Yeah, I agree with that. It's Commander Shepard Halley. I was talking about that. It's actually Shepard Shuffle. I'm just glad we can't see it from third person because first person's bad enough. I don't even know. Tab, have a good night. Thanks for hanging around. Have a great Friday too if we don't see you tomorrow. Tomorrow also for everybody who is headed out. Tomorrow's stream has been pushed up to 12. It's 12 to 5 tomorrow. It's an early morning stream. All right, we got to get away from this. This whole scene is just awkward without the music. Someone's puking $200 worth of drinks. Oh. Oh. Mm, all right, snake oil? No, staff only. Staff <laughs> only. All right, enter code. Oh, hold on. Wait, back it up. Okay. This is such an awkward way to do this, too. Five, oh, five, five. Oh, hold on. Two, five, eight, nine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. It's because I'm breathing and I'm moving. Look at this. My sway. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> this is serious. Just got a flashback from what? From which part, Neo? Oh, I, you know that I just got a flashback. Yes, I'm right. Yes, actually. A horrible flashback. Applesauce, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, and what is it your mother can't help you with? Not, not to worry. I'll find him the moment I get home. Can that be our deal? You've my word, sugar bear. Yeah, He's... I, I love you too. Bye-bye uh, now. He has a kid. Dang. All right, so another one bites the dust. We're back to Takimura and... Takimura? Those are our options? That's our option? <laughs> Let's see. Ah, if it isn't V. V, my favorite What is it? The smoke jacket? Splendid. What was it called? What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis handsome. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Hmm. Flattery, really? This was okay. This was okay. I, you know what? I'm actually okay with this. No, we don't need to be a stepmom. No, he has a wife. Well, I think he just said her mom, but even still... No, it's not. No. He looks like he'd be really good in a top hat, though. Come on, hands. Heartbreak Flattery. Hotel. Really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. But his voice is amazing. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. He's got, a, he's got really nice eyes, though. But I don't think those are his real ones. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect. There's a chance. See the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in mm. the flesh. Not only did you rescue those <laughs> clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. The Sphinx behind him. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. That's true. I did all my you missions. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, oh, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Hmm. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'd be done. Oh. You think so? It's, yeah, there's something a little freaky about that. Like, imagine just be trying- Working with bona fide professionals. Positively a treat. <laughs> I like the art in the hotel, though. How's this going to help you with Hanson? Sure hope this will be worth my while. Mm. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. Hmm... I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the 
chessboard that is Dogtown. Oh, he's Town. such a good voice. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Mm-hmm. So he's trying to, yeah. Which makes sense. Slay, thank you for the follow, Sam, as well. And Pape, thank you for the gifted sub to Mr. Hands. <laughs> Mr. Bones. It's, I, I always think of Mr. Bones. Oh, gosh. I don't like when it looks you in the eyes. Aim to undermine Hanson. Run him out of D-Town. Mm. Tick tock. Time waits Take for this no prefer dog tone with no Hanson at the helm. Hanson wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. He seems like somebody who but would be in Fallout once, New Vegas. No. Especially like not old world. anyone who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business trying. Interest you in some tea. Oh. It's my own blend. Mm. Okay. Sure, why not? I've tried so, much worse things in this game. How did this combat zone become Dogtown? Yeah. Do you know? Jasmine, stop. Jasmine, stop. Uh, don't know unification war. I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069, Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective, to occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone mm -hmm. feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Look at the cat's tail behind him. It's freaking me out. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. It's actually an interesting start of that, though. No, I was just thinking about the hands. It'd be just like cold all the time, you know? It, no, there's no, no. Asian, I can't. <laughs> oh, great. But what about our deal? It's so all well and good chit chatting, but what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Black Sapphire. Hanson stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hanson guards his Neither hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. It's Quid pro quo, quo in full effect. Mm -hmm. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. Oh, thank you. And though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. Interesting you should bring that up. The Shard. Black Sapphire and Phone Blueprints. All, all right. nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, You'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Was counting on something juicier. I think I just say thanks and go along with it. Troy, that's amazing. That is thanks, huge. They, thanks for sharing that, first of all. I only hope this won't mark the end of you our You know how much we talk about that. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. Yeah. New local political gaming. Which is fine. Which is fine. Activity is abundant in Dogtown. And behind closed doors, plots and schemes. I like his cups, though. 
Should Makes me want to go make change ever occur as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. And that's you. I will say, at first, it was like the voice that was great, but you know, I, I can't stop seeing him as like, he's giving me like younger Monopoly man vibes. I don't know why, I just can't take him serious. Looking forward to those new gigs. Preem to meet you in person. Be looking forward to those Business. new gigs then. You know? You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. Yeah, he's wearing ben a robe v, with a tie on. Uh huh. Whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, book? make sure you come back alive. Mm. He is suave, no doubt. And the gray is kind of. You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. I'll make sure to plant my feet firmly then. Later, hands. Later, hands. Yeah, we were talking about this classy. I was saying like it reminded me of a. The robe, and then you guys corrected me and told me what it was really called. But real quick, Troy, that is amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Um, that's huge. That must have been a process and also took a lot of guts. So just huge props to you for like taking that leap of faith. What happened to the middle hair? I like it. He's got to be using a touch of gray, though. I think he's definitely Jasmine. Still love daddy. Take more though. Wait, what? Wait, for which one? Jasmine, thank you for 14 months of continual support unhinged dialogue from you today. <laughs> Holzer and also Mong. Is it Le Mong? Guys, thank you for the follows. Anon with the gift of to Troy and Ruvian with the gift of to Alex as well. Guys, thank you. Mm -mm. Mm. Um, oh, take. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Take. Yes. Yes, Jasmine. Yes. No, Takimura kind of rocks the gray a little bit better. It, it looks more realistic too. I think uh, Mr. Hands is giving off. I, he uses touch of gray. Yeah, Hands got money. Fair. The gray strip is giving Anna Dimitrio. <laughs> no more. No more. Long gone are the days of the. Oh my gosh! I thought for some reason I thought I saw Andrea. I know that's. I'm having. I'm honestly having Final Fantasy like mirages. You've seen Lizzie with. <laughs> Mm. It's still. Oh no. Oh no. It's still here. Absolutely. Absolutely, Troy. No, that's incredible to hear. And it's my song. Let's go. We should be fine. We should be fine. Oh no. We're not fine. We are unwell. I am unwell. Okay, we gotta escape them. Shit, got someone on your ass. Don't ruin this song for me. Go! Go! Hide! Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. No, no. They saw us. They saw us! We're fine. 
Gotta head to work, see you, Maggie and Chad. Aries, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. We're good. We're fine. It was the song that made it 10 times more chaotic, too. Maddie, man. They were done. They were done. Oh my goodness, such a good song. Rimbly. <laughs> Rimbly, thank you for tier three for five months in a row. Also, Wobs, thank you for the follow. Molly as well, guys. Thank you and welcome in. Another great song. I guess we need to wait for it to go completely away. We should be fine. Wait for it to completely leave. Oh, no, 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 turn back on. I think we're fine. It hasn't even started to go down. I think it's stuck. Okay, it's starting to go away. Oh yeah, we've heard this song before. These are two of my favorite songs on the station. Channeling, hi. The sniper rifle this color, it's part of the DLC. But no, we're not modding anything. Okay, excuse me. Back to business. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What is that? What the hell? What did I do to this robot? Oh no. Uh. All right, we're done. I think this card, I think we need to ditch the car. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, this car, this car is met its end. Raybeard, welcome back in. What do you mean? I've only been on for three hours. That's nothing. I normally stream for five hours. Okay. Okay, we're gonna park the car here. Yo, updates anyone? Hello? Get Wake out, get up, out. motherfuckers! <laughs> I need to find somewhere to hide. We just gotta go somewhere hide for a little bit and then we'll be fine. No, no, uh, please, no. The car is cursed. Absolutely. Okay, we just wait it out. Jeez. We'll be fine. 95% of the damage to the car is from Maggie crashing into stuff. It's not even them shooting at it. It's not. Oh my gosh, more gigs. Gigs on gigs on gigs. Although he only has five more. Mm. They know. Oh, is this back to back to back good? I mean, to be fair, every song on this station is pretty good. Oh, we got trauma team. I know. I'm on Jig Jig Street doing whatever I please. I don't think we heard this one. Joy Toy, what? Okay, we're fine. Let's slither on back to the car. Hopefully nothing will happen. Was a new song added today? Was there an update today? <laughs> slither away! Slither away! Why am I in combat? The situation is grim. I don't think we're gonna get that car back. <laughs> They're not cops. <laughs> They're part of the group that's trying to get it back. 
All right, slither back, slither back, slither back. All right, as we were. Thank you. All right, we just need to deliver the location. We're gonna finish this mission if it's the last thing I do today. I do like the duelist. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of money for it. Am I missing wheels in the back? Like, what's happening here? We better hope that nobody else comes after us on the other side, because if they do, it's gonna explode with a couple more shots. Ginger. Mom's proving she can't drive. I I know it had doors at one time. I look at it as kind of, you know, instead of promoting that the car has a moonroof or a sunroof, you just don't have doors. So whenever you want to look up at the sky, you just like, that's not good. All right, I'm done with everybody. I'm shooting here. Y'all too? Yourself you want to scrap too? Yourself. The car is going to explode. The car is going to explode. Run, Everything is burning. Kill that car! Let me switch. Hold on. Oh, they're trying to ram us. They're about to explode. Nice. All right, one down. These guys. Let me cycle weapon. There we go. That's, oh, that's more like it. That's much more like it. Everything burns. <laughs> All right, holster that bad boy. Let's go. Get the RPG out every time. Okay, but I need to actually be careful because no, is that another car? No. Watch out. All right, this is fine. Okay. This car has taken an insane beating. Or 1.7 KMs. Why am I getting all of my songs today? This is very suspicious. All right, there we go. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Just straight. I'm doing a car mission. I would normally be driving Millie, but we're doing a car mission. She's still very much our baby. Okay. What, what is your definition of fine? This car is so busted. Hawkeye. Knit in. Pon Pon could be on right now. There's no way. If it comes on, I will keep it, but. We better get there quick. Quick. Devin, hi. Yang, stop. Do not give celebratory. Classy with the 100 bits. Yang's with the five gifted subs to the channel and community. Hold on. We're almost there. We don't have to listen to the song for very long. Hold on. I summoned the pawn pawn. Hold on. This car is going to go up in smokes. I know. I came into Weiss. <laughs> you came in and started playing. Looks like your first car. Oh, stop. That's not good. Oh, 
Not Pon Pon summoned this madness. That's not even somebody pursuing me. What in the what is what did I I got dragged into a fight that's not even my own. All right. Get their weapon glitcher. Oh, you sneaky. Why is pump normally combat music goes on? Why is it still playing right now? Jasmine. Jasmine with three more gifted subs. And Yanks with the 100 bits too. I love Jasmine. We should have combat music on, not Pon Pon. Finally. Betrayed me for a second there. Mm hmm. I know. You don't have to, first of all, coming in here with all caps. Relax. Relax. I know I couldn't turn it off. Oh, and here she comes back. <sighs> we were just supposed to get there. Cashy, I'm a first time chatter and I want pom pom back. Overzealous, you're better than this. Overzealous with four more gifted subs to the channel and community. No more car, no more pon pon. You've lost your pon pon privileges. Not gonna lie, V. Think you got a gift. My man will take care of the rest. You sure about that? Little token of my appreciation sure about that? for you in the drop lock. <laughs> Classy. <laughs> Classy with five more gifted subs to the channel and community as well. <sighs> I love if it's any indication of this car, I, I can I mean I know it's for most cars, but the fact that you can get in from one side and just easily shift over to the other side. I'm glad to see the only way, way, way you really listen to is way, 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 way. Hold on, what was that? Triple? We need to go back now. We're continuing to get discounts. Oh, now that's interesting. Call read and send them the data. Um, I'm glad to see that the only way you really have to listen to it whenever, yeah. Oh, do I have to listen to it because they're gifting stuff? No, we will switch it. I do not have to do anything. Absolutely not. It is glitched right now. The song's glitched right now. It's playing at 100% and I'm not hot on the exit. Uh, yeah, I, I would not be owning car insurance, no. There we go. Sometimes I think whatever it is out of the car. No, it's not linked. No, it's not linked to gifting. No, I would not put it on an alert. Are you kidding me? I would lose my mind. If I made that an actual alert outside of a sound alert. No. All right. It's Thursday, which makes me feel like we should save main mission for Friday and just do some more of the gigs, because I really think his gigs are very enjoyable and more entertaining than some of the base game gigs as well. Just kind of have some fun. Uh, there's no amount of subs that could make that become an alert. Watch out. I have something in my eye. It's my finger. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, that means main gigs will be tomorrow EU time. Oh! EU main gigs? Sorry. My gangster friends. Sorry. It'll buff out. All right, we're gonna go over here. I'm glad we cleared that up. Yeah. No way. I would not do that. If I did that, it would be that I really don't hate it that much. Oh. 
and just do a quick little UE. Perfect. Interesting item of business. Oh, interesting item of business has fallen into my lap. Lena Molina, a local BD celebrity, claims she's been kidnapped and is currently being held against her will in a BD rental studio called Brain Emporium. Lena seeks a merc who will set her free from her captor's clutches. Uh, all in all, it would be a credible, solid assignment were it not for the fact that I failed to con confirm the client's identity. The data I received from her is as odd in several places with what my trusted sources tell me. As such, I will not be playing middleman in this matter. However, should you be so inclined, I've sent the coordinates she relayed to me. I, meanwhile, will do as the Romans do and wash my hands of the matter. Have we seen her before? Secret lover of Pon Pon, never. Never. I can't say I've been following her career, if one can call it such. Yet as, oh, slight roast. Slight roasty toasty. I aim to keep my finger on the pulse of things. Okay. No one wanted to guess. I don't know what that was about with him, but I'm sure it's fine. Dazed and confused. Is that part of, for him? Oh. Yeah, I guess we can now do... Okay, so there's more side missions popping up on the map for the DLC. So we could definitely do Dazed and Confused. Or let's do a gig first and then Dazed and Confused. We'll see what happens. Do an enemy mission on a day you're usually free. This is mastermind level sinister. I like it. I got to keep you guys on your toes. You never know when you're going to pop in and I'm just going to be doing gigs and when I'm going to be doing side missions, main missions. Watch out! Oh, I was supposed to turn there. No. Fuck. Sorry. You'll be fine. Just throwing my insurance cards out the window every time we run over somebody. Keep us guessing, always. Blood for the blood god. <laughs> Millie. Millie needs to feed. It's been a while. Here we go. Mm. So today's main mission was talking to hands. Not much happened. That's still part of main missions. And that was a lot that happened. That was an important meeting. I didn't say we were doing main mission today. That was main mission. We did a piece of it. There we go. No way we can ensure it. No. We would not be able to sign on with any insurance company. Absolutely not. All right, on our way to Pacifica. Don't worry, old love. <laughs> Every time I run over somebody, I have DJ Kelly. I'm not the one. <laughs> this is a good song, actually. Huh, this is on Growl. This is actually really good. To my premium. At this point, I just need to buy people out and just give them the money so they don't sue me or go to the law. Don't turn me in. Millie's a prime example of what happens when you compact evil. <laughs> K1. Yes. Look at how fast you can go, though. We're going 106. Oh, snap. 107. 107 on the road. Oh, that was definitely somebody dead on the road. And turn. Okay. That was nice. Nice little 107. It's amazing how the rest of the music sounds. Oh, everything sounds a million times better after Pon Pon. Sometimes Pon Pon's a little bit like a palate cleanser. Like you have to hear it just to remember what good music sounds like, you know? Kind of refreshes you, resets, makes you more appreciative for the things that come after. 107 downhill. <laughs> uh. This has a nice beat to it. It's the pickled ginger of cyberpunk. Mmm, now I want pickled ginger. There's a lot going on. Oh no. 
Get out of the road! Roll yourself, Vinde, huh? Okay, we are not on the cops list. That was still a road, so she was she was at fault there. She was 100% at fault there. V. There was a massacre over at Longshore Stacks. Residents murdered by one Leon Rinder, a long-serving oh, yeah. ex-Bargas ghoul. Naturally, the victim's families want him found and appropriately dealt with. Head down there and find Brianna Dolson, the Stacks' unofficial representative. She'll fill you in. I secretly Happy like Pon Pon. Nightclub welcome in. I wouldn't say I secretly like Pon Pon. I think it's pretty clear I dislike it. Amigo, uh, Pete, and Mads, guys, thank you for the follows. And anybody who gifted us up during the Pon Pon madness, thank you. All jokes aside, thank you. All right, let's go to Mr. Hans's. Here we go. Details. We've got a situation in the Longshore Stacks. The mess was made by Leon Reinder, once a soldier with Hansen, now killer of eight. It remains unclear what Reinder was doing in the Stacks, what caused him to snap, or why he left Hansen's ranks. So many questions, V. So few answers. One thing is certain. The victim's families want to get their hands on Reinder. But first, we need to find him. Enter you, V. Go to the stacks. Search the area. Talk to their unofficial representative, Brianna Dolson. Maybe you'll find a lead. Brianna! If you could add one feature to Millie, what would it be? A jetpack? A rocket launcher? A snowplow? Oh, I like the addition of a snowplow. I, I wouldn't have thought about that. <sighs> but I think I've got to go with a rocket launcher. Just easier to get. Yeah, you know how annoying it is to have somebody, ugh, the cops, like, roll up to arrest you? I would say, yeah. Rocket launcher. Definitely not a jetpack. Yeah, you frequently nod your head to Pon Pon because it's... A song, and I, I, yeah. People died, and you're out here playing. Have some respect. Nobody's playing. You're talking to a wall. Yes. Egan, Egan, thank you so much for two months. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel for another month in a row. Thank you so much. Hi. Uh, we need to talk to Brianna. Oh, these are of the eight that they massacred. Yeah. Oh, sorry for interrupting. Thank you. Name's V. Hand sent me. Brianna, I take it. That's right. Martha, this woman here, she'll help us. We'll give you some space, okay? Yes. I like Martha's outfit. Go. This is a cool start to a gig, though. Sorry, emotions are running high right now. Before we start, need to understand who you are, where from. Life in Dogtown. Know it well? Hmm. We should talk about the murder. Time's a factor. Here. Quicker you tell me about the killer, quicker I can get to doing what I do best. He's on the run. Indulge me, hmm? It's a trust thing. All right. I was a nomad. Grew up on the road. Sleep beneath the stars. Sharing campfires with dozens Kinda of Kind of magical at night. Family. Can't imagine it's any different here. Worse off you are. Oh. Where you gotta stick together. Well then, nice to meet you. That's you introduced. I'm Brianna. Mm. Six years back, the Tigers came after me, so I ran. Landed here. For most of us, our past doesn't amount to more than that. Running, surviving, which is why... I want to make sure that for once, the eddies we scraped together will buy us justice. Real justice. All right, Flu, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. And also, Into the Forgotten, thank you for three months. So many resubs today, guys. Thank you. It was Why did you put together the scratch for this? Oh, look at her. All of us here, we pitched in. Yeah. We've suffered enough. Mm. Justice means what to you? Oh. Exactly. Definitions vary. Want to hear your take? Leon Rinder doesn't deserve to live. He was a triggerman for Hansen. A murderer. All too familiar with that brand of justice. Good for you. Doesn't change Rinder killing Martha's son, Jason, along with his friends and four other residents. Is this that one Jason, time? Jason, Caleb, Jason, Deontay, Omar, Pharrell, Look at her face. Matthias, Elisa, and Tamika. 
I like the way you put that. It's the presentation feels like a main mission. Absolutely. But I mean, we, that was like from the very first gig we did. I knew that they were not the same, like go in, good out. Gun I answer? Yes, I am. Why would Reiner be meeting with Jason? Any idea? All I know is that Jason was supposed to put Reinder in touch with the scavs. Scavengers? Mm. Jason happened to be involved in some unsavory biz. He was a young man trying to get by in Dogtown. Wasn't no angel, but his heart was in the right place. Martha made sure of that. Hmm. Why do you leave it? Reinder's not a bar guest soldier anymore. Why? No clue. All I know they is they might have kicked brutal. him out. Cold blooded. They could have. A beast. What's his connection to Hansen? He joined when Hansen set up shop in Dogtown. Carried out orders no one else dared take, according to rumor. Can Hansen's people deal with him? Han do you think Hansen's people are going to care about this? Surely even Bargas doesn't let murderers walk free, dodge consequences. Have to catch him first. Hmm. Told them what happened, but as usual, they simply don't care. Martha's boy, Jason, he wanted to become a fixer. He set up some deal, brought Rinder to the stacks. But there was a dispute. Rinder opened fire and, well, was still scrubbing the blood off the walls. Identified the bodies by their implants. Oh, I yeah, see. I didn't think about that for identification. Found this in Jason's body. It's encrypted, but I'm sure you can manage. Feel free to look around, investigate. There's still plenty of uh, traces. We haven't had a BD mission in a long time. I've always liked these. What's on the data shard? Yeah. I don't know, but I'm betting that whatever Jason did for Reinder, it'll have details. Tell Jason's mother that I'll do what she asked. Reinder will get what's coming to him. I'll make sure of it. Can tell that to Jason's mother. Good. I will. Now you know what we've been through, V. Don't let us down. Can count I got on you. me. Rinder's dog tag. Bring it to me. It'll serve as a reminder to this pack of thugs that we're capable of fighting back. All right. I'll do my best. The BD at nighttime in Dogtown? Yeah, Dogtown feels like... I guess in some ways it does. Something about the whole essence of it reminds me of Fallout New Vegas. Scully, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, investigate the area. Optional. Oh, let's uh, let's do that optional. So let's start by investigating a little bit. She said that they're still cleaning up the blood. Oh, Ugo, it takes everything to the next level. Like the this is what I was just talking about is like the gigs are way more in depth. Like James said, it has the presentation. Rinder, take it out on the ground. Of a main something. mission. Not his fist. See the blood indentation. Took some poor fucker's head and bashed it repeatedly. Oh, like they're not kidding. Berserk. They're still wiping it off. Yeah. Bullet holes. Marks like these. I'm thinking. 50 cal rounds, Mark 31 HMG. Heavier than a motherfucker, lead Jeez. spitter that did this. Hauling it with a Gannic arm, not a chance. So, Classic go-to okay. for Militech Marines. Ex-soldiers mm -hmm. like Rinder. Scan did pick up traces of other rounds, which would make him the lone shooter. A stash of some kind? Someone's been collecting different kinds of lead here. But why? When I was little, after shootouts, we'd raise to collect any casings we could find. Traded them between ourselves. Kid stash? Must be some kid stash. Doesn't tell me anything about Rinder. It'll buff out. Can't complain about knowing a little piece of Johnny Silverhand's childhood. I know, Luke. You gotta get... These are like... This is good stuff. I mean, we haven't done too, too much of the main mission, but... Still, every morsel of the DLC is being spoiled for you. Investigate was optional, but we did... Hold on. I think there's still just a little bit left, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Tracks, tracks. Combat boots. And See the truck. Combat souls? For the car. Must have run up, boosted onto the roof of this shack, bashed his leg against the railing. Mm. That's a 10-foot jump for a man who's got to weigh at least 360 pounds, leaving dino prints like these. 
So either He's we're got witnessing a lot. the fattest fuck who ever jumped, or Rinder's got augmented hamstrings on top yeah. of being crumbed up like a goddamn tank. He's like he is a riddle, all right. He's got like super strength of some sort. Seems you're looking for a bored out killing machine that's lost all self control. Mm. Sounds about right. This is popping up yellow. All right, investigate the area is done. All right, that was it. Yeah, so I mean, at least it's nice knowing going into this that he's uh, pretty crumb heavy. All right, crack the shard. I don't know if I've ever, I've never like cracked a shard that's been on us. Let's talk to her too, because we can. Uh, if you could record a BD or share your perception or experience with your audience, what event or activity would you choose? I don't think I'd ever want to share anything. Yeah, something so personal with a wider audience. Or would you not want to share something so personal? I, I think, yeah, I just, I don't think that there's anything that I can really see myself wanting to. I mean, not without thinking about it for a little bit, but some things I think are, it's the same way as like, I'm not a big fan of VR either. I like the, sc I like the screen, I like feeling immersed, but I don't need to like, be there to feel the immersion, I think, sometimes to feel like, I mean, I cry over games without being in VR or any kind of a mode like that. I feel like just hearing it is easy enough for me to feel the weight of the situation. Maybe not as in-depth as a BD would do, but I don't think I'd want to go picking around in somebody else's memory. I don't know. Oh, they wouldn't be good for that. You're right. I couldn't put them on in the shower. Last dragon, hi. Yeah, the level of details they put into this game is amazing. Oh, absolutely, Black Sheep, especially the DLC. I think the detail, the attention to details in the DLC is definitely more intense than the main game, minus a few spelling errors, but. Crying over the perfection of Quarry. <laughs> Make a BD of you driving IRL just so you can prove that it's, okay, now that I could see, yeah, that I could see being good. I want Rinder to be scared. Scared to have it all taken away from him, like he took from me. Hmm. This DLC is what the game should have been from the start. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I would have been exhausted, though, by this level of... Because I feel like by the DLC, I've gotten here and I'm like, okay, this is... Oh, there was more stuff here, too. The barrier. There were more things you could have investigated. I think there were just a choice amount that you could have done. Yeah, I feel like um, it reminds me a lot of Witcher 3. I think Witcher 3's main game, just like this one, feel just as good. But then their expansions, again, like I say, it's like that love letter to the community. It's like they want to take it a little bit further. Um, sometimes I think, too, a story hits you a little bit more when it is more condensed. I have a feeling that if the whole game felt like this, it would be too much for me to endure in like one sitting. I'd have to piece it up. Oh, Witcher is amazing. All right, I just need to crack the shard. Yeah, a little overwhelming. Okay, let's crack it up here. Okay, so how does one crack a shard? I guess do I go into my... I don't know, I've never... I've never tried to, like, open... Huh. Maybe after? I have done it before, and I just can't remember how to crack a shard. It's like a beer? Yeah, just floppy pickle, just tell me, because I... I... Crack the shard. Yeah, fluffy pickle. Because I should know this by now. Pretend it's the AC. <laughs> oh, go to the shards. Oops. And then you go to... Oh, the encrypted. No, no, no. Is it the encrypted? Yeah. And then you crack. Sorry. Yes. I was thinking I was doing... Gotcha. Okay. I was thinking I was doing a BD. That's why I got so confused. Uh, let's do this to IC to E9. E9 to 55 to IC. To 1C. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking about I was going into a BD. 
Here we go. Got a client for you. Guys want to sell combat implants. Militech third gen. Good. Send him us to send him to us in Pacifica. The old Los Osos Motel. Where he get them? Better off telling me how much you're willing to pay. Only if it's quality chrome. It is. Then a lot. Tens of thou. Just say thousand. Yeah, it was a shard, not a beauty. Yeah. Don't try and be funny. You already got a flat fee. You want more? Then ask your supplier. It's always the same with you a-holes. All right. So now we need to go to the motel. Is that on the outside? Let me see. Hmm. Yes. Yes, it is. I know that there's a there's another secretive way to get out, but we're just gonna hop back in Millie, I think. Just head. Mm. Am I heading into the thick of it? Hold on. Mm, I need to go back this way. No pickles, no suggestions. I'm pretty sure I called it an expansion. DLCs tend to be smaller. Yeah. I don't really get too hung up on the verbiage. I see what you're saying. I definitely agree that I, I think I look at it like an expansion. But I think also when people say DLC, they're not meaning it to be insulting to the game. I think that's just what we're used to kind of calling additional things that come out after a game is released. No pickles. No pickles. Unless I'm, yeah, unless I'm asking this specific question. Y'all are better than this. SG or Gus and Kanak and Rick. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Yeah. I don't get too heated about those things, though. I'm like the last person to ask about that. <laughs> Overzealous. Yeah. Taking my family to House of Pies. That sounds fun. I should go to grab a pie of some sort, but nothing's going to be open by the time. I guess it's like a pie from McDonald's. They have some kind of things like that. All right, we're headed this way. Hmm. Did we already cover that kind of pie? What kind of pie I would be getting? I do kind of like some coconut pie too. I love coconut like cake. And coconut pie, I'm just not the biggest fan of coconut water. Mini coops. I'll have you know this is a respectable car upper. This is no mini coop. This is something so much better. Mmm. All right, here we go. German chocolate cake. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, pretty much any cake. I guess I'm more of a cake person than I ever thought. I don't like cupcakes. But I like a good slice of cake. It's like a Fiat. There is no comparison. This is just Millie. No comparison necessary. I think I did just have the wrong coconut water. Listen yes. I, I, I can hook you up. Hold on, Brianna. Bring something to drink. Something to, to you know, blast you into outer space. All right, here we go. V, remember that killing Reinder isn't enough. You need to bring back his dog tag. Oh, gosh. Okay. I thought we were going to go into a BD, and I got really excited because I feel like they introduced BDs, and I know that they didn't want to, like, overkill with them, but I feel like we could have experienced more, you know? Millie isn't a mini coop. Millie is a weapon. Instead of symbols, I'll look for somebody who can actually protect you in the future. I remember. Yes, it's all about the ratio of the cake and the frosting. Absolutely, Raj. It's got to be good. I mean, I've seen people take the bottom and flip it up, but still not enough. That's weird. That's this where Grinder came to do biz. I'm going to lose it here in a second. Motel, Wonder if we'll find him on the first floor. Sake. Johnny's down there. Hold on. Okay, no, 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 no. The cake is a lie. What's that? Clothing. Okay. I need to be able to use it again. I'm gonna wait in this exact position. I need like a silencer or something, yeah. Uh-huh. I have some premium high-end wedding cakes that were simply divine. 
Oh, those wedding cookies are super good too. Mm. You know the ones that have like the... Uh, I think it's kind of like a vanilla cookie with some kind of uh, maybe like almonds or something and then it has the powdered sugar on top. So you can never have enough frosting. Oh, frosting is hit or miss for me. That's not our man. Favorite cake flavor? Honestly, probably not. Probably not. Again, I'm not like, I do like cake, but I feel like it's not something that I like seek out. Whoa. Oh, that's not good. 46 years old. Looks phenomenal for 46. Okay, shh. Bodies identified. Grinder. That's not good. Yeah, pretty much any cake. I think if I had to pick just one, if I had to pick just one, I do like a good red velvet, but isn't that really, oh, it's all about the icing. Voldemar, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. Yeah, I hope I get to see you tomorrow for maybe some main main mission cyberpunk stuff. See, these gigs and everything, they, they are long, so I'm not expecting to finish the DLC anytime soon. I'm also not rushing it. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Carrot cake is pretty good. I think I did red velvet. I think Anna did carrot cake. And then Jess had some kind of vegan chocolate cake. Blind, welcome back in. Oh. Oh, I'm sure. I do just like, there's something about though, I think as I've gotten older, I've just enjoyed a good gelato or uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Ice cream seems to hit the spot without making me feel just heavy. I used to think I was a sweet tooth, but I'm pretty sure I'm more of a savory kind of gal. Mm. He's up here somewhere. A pickle cake. Oh no, pistachio gelato. I love the taste of pistachio. Like pistachio macarons are some of my favorite. I don't even think I got macarons when I was in France. I don't think that was Rinder. Proud of myself for not killing him though. All right, maybe there's a third floor. Oh, absolutely unsavory. I think he's gonna get back. Wait a minute. I don't know you. I think he's just BDing out. I did not take that guy out stealth wise. Peppermint chocolate, Ben and Jerry's. You know, I've never been a crazy Ben and Jerry's. Maybe it's cause I just didn't find my flavor. The flavor I like. I do love moose tracks though. Moose tracks with the little mini Reese's in it. Amazing. Chocolate mousse kind of guy. I love tiramisu as well. Bad feeling, v. Through there. Oh no. Rita, stop. It's true. Net plays, by the way. Welcome back in. Okay, we don't need everything. I was not expecting the decapitation. That was different. Turn back, V. Turn back, Sarah. Anything sweet? If a dessert is in front of my face, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I have some tiramisu in the fridge. I love it so much. I think it's the coffee in it, but it's the lady fingers and everything. Blood. Oh, negative. Oh. <gasps> Jump scares. Oh! That's not good. I kill you. Die to it. Grenade. 
Thanks for announcing when you're tossing a grenade, buddy boy. Enter! He's on the move. Woo! He's fast as. Go, 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 go! Confuse the heck out of him. Oh, he's invisible too. Visible versus invisible. Oh, ow. Oh no. Where is he? Okay, he went that way. Don't go that way. If you had gone that way, you would have gone straight into the castle. Are there two people here? This is like two not applying enough damage. Oh my gosh. That man effed me up. I love the atmosphere in this. This is just a gig. This is insane. Where is he? He's healing. Move in, move in, move in. He's healing in a corner somewhere. Here he is. What? Sorry, what? Be careful. Knock him off his feet. He's on the ground, he's on the ground. Let's hit him with a overheat too. Keep him from healing. Nice. Beautiful, burn him. He's trying to reboot optics. Let me see if I can do something else. You know what, he's gonna hit it, but I'm gonna... Okay. He's rebooting optics again. 25%. I'm also crouched this whole time. He's gonna get it. I'm gonna get flash here in a second. Flash bang out. Never sneak up on a girl like that. Honestly, the Widowmaker has saved my butt every single time. Holy reboots! Oh, my weapon malfunctioned. No, sign up, burnout. out. <laughs> Switch weapons. We're rebooting again. Oh, I cannot see. It's actually nice because when I am crouched like this, I am getting to go invisible. There he is, there he is, there he is. He's running across, he's right there. Kill him with the B-drill! <laughs> Kill him with the B-drill! Nice. Whew. I saw that flash with my eyes closed. <laughs> okay, I don't think he can like be fully dead. That wasn't bad. I love, but again, like this whole atmosphere with the red lights and just all of the coverings and having to like kind of like go into all the rooms. So like atmospheric, just, ugh. Oh. There's a little bit of smoke. There's dead bodies. It's wow. Maelstro, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, by the way. Mm, mm. You, sir. Hey, hey, relax, Trim. Let's talk this through. Not about to off an unarmed man, are you? Sounds like Reese's voice. Hmm. This actually isn't what I was expecting. Grindr. Thought you'd look different, more chromed. About his legs. I'm Rinder, all right, or at least what's left of him. Guessing you're here on contract. Hanson sent you. Just... I'm here in the name of those people so you killed with the stacks. What? Hold on. The stacks? Uh, I was there. Someone tried to rip me off, but I, I didn't kill no one. I I've got these blackouts. Ain't always present. Jason. I'm sick, okay? Sounds like you know more than me. So. 
Let's ask all the questions. You and Hanson, what happened? Left you on the rocks? You got eyes? Tossed me to rot in the gutter. My tombs too. Eight years I gave that asshole. Eight years. Kid enlisted at 20. Mm. Had no excuse. Fuck did he think it happened? Stuffing himself with combat wear like a pinata. Matter of time for he burst. What is it like maybe the verge of cyberpsychosis? You let scabs carve you up like a Thanksgiving turkey. Why? Cause I told him to. What do you think? Yeah, this is the expansion. Sold him my chrome. Might be twisted fucks, but they keep their word. Now you're gonna tell me that that hulking slab of scab that came at me was your ripper? That bumbling buffoon? <laughs> Just proof they can't guard for shit. <sighs> Memory blackouts, how convenient. Everyone's making you That's out like some hard. crazed killer. The butcher of Dogtown. And here you are, hatching weak-ass excuses. I'm sick, all right? I wanted to pawn my chrome, collect enough scratch to get treated. Jason was my go-between with the local Jason? scabs. And here you are, meaning he did his part. Except you tried to give me the Dogtown shakedown first. Started waving his big dick iron. Fucking savage. And then... I, I can't remember. Hmm. Stick with Rippers what? in Dogtown. None of them could help. Say what's ailing you. If they did, think I'd have myself gutted like a fish? That is crazy. Flipping out third gen combat wear and chipping myself with crooked chrome for what? Shits and gigs? Hey, there's nothing wrong with gigs. Hold up. Wait a meanie. <laughs> What are all those years doing that? This is just further proof that they love to put you in a situation what that's not black or for? white. Been doing Hanson's dirty work for years, tying off loose ends. That all a blackout too? Fuck you want me to say? That I admit to all the sins I committed, remembered, forgotten, and all in between? Fine. I regret it, okay? I regret all the years with Hanson. Joined up when I was just a kid. Kept my head down, followed orders, whatever I did, I'm sorry. As if you know shit about Dogtown anyhow. Dogtown chewed him up, shat him yeah. out. Place must be packed with hapless turds like him. Be simpler if it was all Hanson's fault. But that ain't how it works. No, there is responsibility that you have to take for yourself, but... Well, it's one of those situations that it's like, this is why sometimes I just go in and I just do what was asked of me because the more you get to know, the more you find out about them and then you're like, oh shoot, this isn't just as easy as a paid gig. Uh. Tell me, what don't I know about Dogtown? It wasn't the scavs tried to fuck me over. It was that shit weasel Jason. Dogtown's teeming with filth like him. Makes Bargus look good in comparison. You see how they live in those cargo containers? Bunch of fucking savages. Can't have folks leaving either, no, uh? Want you to rot right there beside them. Hmm. I know, morals in Night City. Yeah, I mean, that showed his opinion on at least the people that he was serving what as for Whatever I did, let me enlighten you. Following orders, give me a break. Cowering behind orders now. At any point, you could have hung up your iron, stopped killing innocent peeps, but you didn't. Fine. Make me out to be some kind of monster. Be easier to put me down then, won't it? Look at me! What else have I got to lose, huh? They fucked me over, all of them! I used to be a soldier. Look at me now! Had heaps of time to walk away before you dove off the deep end. I was 20, okay? Put my faith in Hanson. Yeah, Wasn't but what the about the other eight years? Or last. I make everything my fucking fault now? And those whiny bitches I dropped at the stacks? Fuck them. Well, there we Fuck go. Fuck Dogtown. Right. I'd burn this shithole to the ground if I could, along with everyone in it. That made it a lot easier. That is true, though. It's like he wants that dark well, piece for the stretch. Say something. Hold on. Better choose your next words carefully. Listen to me, just listen. 
of expired goods, a walking corpse. Can't decommission me more than this. Tell him Leon Reinder's dead, and <laughs> he wouldn't even be lying. Do that? The gear I stashed, it's yours. Or no, fuck him! I won't beg. Shoot if you want. What happens if I let you go? Let's say I let you walk. What happens then? Lay it out. I don't know. I'll, I'll look for help. Hit up some big name rippers. Not calling it quits yet. Hit mm. up like some fucking cripple. Easy to feel Artie, sorry the when there's a gun to your head. Don't let the murder and piece of shit that tug at your heartstrings, V. Oh, no. I don't think he actually really does have remorse. I mean, even if he is having blackouts, he's made it very clear that he's not caring about anybody in Dogtown, even though he was for? supposed to be serving them. Artie, did you have a message with that? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Artie. Well, say something. This is, well, they also make this, this, this is a, um, it's a little bit more of a complicated situation because I'm not necessarily, I guess I am being hired to be a mercenary, kind of. Artie, thank you so much. I know for never reading it, I know. I've killed a lot of other people, but um, I didn't really feel the remorse. I think for anything that he did do, I... That's such a, it's a difficult one because it gets brought to your attention. Yeah, no, it wasn't. No, it was a Merc one. I'm getting it twisted. It was. The mission, this one, the Dazed and Confused is just a favor for Mr. Hands. That was, in fact, Mr. Hands hiring us. So we did what we were supposed to. I do that every day and I, I know. No, but there's some, like, there, there are just some situations that kind of bring you into that spot for a moment and you just think about it in a different situation than that. Jamie, Jamie, thank you so much for the raid. I don't have any alerts when I'm um, when I'm streaming these kind of games, but thank you so much. And guys, welcome in. Jamie, Andy, hi, Ken, hi, Cozy, hi. Guys, welcome in. If you guys are over here, please go check out Jamie as well. We got the pleasure to raid her, I think it was like last week now, or maybe two weeks ago. Um, what are you on to now? Are you still red dead in it, hanging around? And Yanks, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Jamie as well. Jamie, thank you for the raid and trusting your community and bringing them over here. Guys, I'm a variety streamer. I do a little bit of Twitch, a little bit of YouTube, and I'm doing my first ever playthrough of Cyberpunk. We were in the DLC. It is so good. So stinking good. Baldur's Gate. Okay, so I've never played Baldur's Gate. I did just tell my community we'll be starting new, the new year with Baldur's Gate, and I'm intending to throw, like, months. Like, people think I've been playing this game for a while. I started this back in January, but that's nothing compared to how much time we're going to throw into Baldur's Gate. Yeah, we're going to start out January. I just don't... There's. I know that I'm going to probably be taking, like, four to five months, but how are you enjoying your playthrough of it? Do you recommend it? Yeah, yeah, Seagoat, I've never played anything like it, so I don't want to rush it by any by any means. So I'm going to try to, like, be able to carve out the time. Usually the beginning of my years are, like, when I can carve out a lot of time for a game. I'll have the best time ever with it. It's the best 10 out of 10. Well, I'm excited for that. Yeah, I did forget. I also love Taco Bell and cats and... Yeah, just a lover of any kind of narrative heavy game. I'm also obsessed with Final Fantasy VII Part Two right now. So just a bunch of goofing around and craziness. I also drive the cutest car in Night City, they do say. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm obsessed with Taco Bell. Yeah, I don't have it as much as I used to because I am trying to be better. I'm trying to cook, I'm trying to be healthier, but it's my vice. It's hard to tell how much you'll put into a game until it's over. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think with Baldur's Gate, it's, I can kind of confidently, based off of y'all's understanding of me and everything, I think I can kind of take a guess at least roughly how long it will take. I mean, that was like, people say Cyberpunk was gonna take till June too, but we'll be done with this in the next couple of weeks, I think. Yeah, thank you so much for the raid, Joan. Uh, thank you, Jamie. I don't, is it, it's Jamie, not Joan, right? Joan, Jamie Joan. Which one? I'm assuming you prefer to go by Jamie. Yeah. 
It's fair. Especially with me, Triple. Like, with me, when it comes to games, guys, I look at everything. I don't want to say I look at everything, but I do try to look at a ton of the stuff. I look at the side content, like, pretty much as much as possible. I'll sit there and look at interior design and games. And usually makes any playthrough about twice as long. Twice as long, at a minimum. When I first got this gig, it said finally clear, cut black and white gig and DLC. And at the end, I was like, this is not black and white. No, I know. I really want to play this game sometime. It looks awesome. Okay, if you have not played it, I really appreciate the raid. I'm, I'm sure you also have things to do and want to raid and dash. I would avoid anything going forward because this is the DLC. And the DLC, if you haven't played Witcher 3, it's just like Witcher 3 where the expansion is just so detail oriented it's a love letter to the community i'm right in the thick of it i mean we're not doing main mission we're doing some side stuff but even still i don't want you to get spoiled so i totally understand if you have to rate and dash um and want to avoid any spoilers but juris and also andy guys thank you for the follows and i'm glad to see y'all are enjoying your time here already and freezord freezord thank you so much for seven months of continual support as well are you enjoying the game i'm thinking about buying it yes yes i i will always promote trying to get a game on sale but i think it's so worth it you can get so many playthroughs out of it and everything it's so worth it um but yeah that's pretty much a little bit about me i've been streaming for almost six years now and slowly very very slowly chipping away i gotta deliver the dog text now this is my cute car millie slowly chipping away about all my games on my list which my list keeps getting longer and longer it's on sylvia epic right now nice Wait a minute. Wait, let's read this first. Gave him my best shot, but it still wasn't enough. KO'd in the 10th. I thought we were going to fight or watch his fight. Got a minute to talk. Dream gig bar. All right, we're going to have to go there after too. Dang. Wait, that's awesome. Yes, Jamie, thank you so much again for the raid. And yes, once again, for anybody in my community, please go check out Jamie. Variety streamer, assuming. And Baldur's Gate. And you guys have been asking me for Baldur's Gate. So go... Go stop in in Jamie's playthrough of this. And it sounds like it's not your first playthrough either. Is this like your second? You said dirge. I don't know what that means. It's a specific type. Mm -hmm. All right. We need to head back to delivering the dog tags before we do that one. Yes. Thank you so much again. Don't get turned off by the vehicle. There are, yeah, look, this vehicle, there's a lot that it offers, okay? It's packing a powerful punch. You just got to trust it. Devmol, hi. Kin, thank you for the follow as well. All right, hold on. It's going to be it. All right, this is what we needed. It's your second playthrough. Dark Urge. Oh, Dark Urge means evil. Oh, gosh. I play Fable all the time, and I can never be evil. So I probably will do. My first playthrough will probably be good. Well, I feel like my community would say that I certainly have it in me to be evil considering my playthrough on this <laughs> great <laughs> all right here we go millie is my car crush <laughs> stop i know i love fable so much i'm doing a fable 2 playthrough on normally on thursdays i'm doing fable 2 but um we're we're getting towards the, I, I say towards the end of cyberpunk but we're going to get back to some more Cozy Fable Thursday next week. Here we go, everybody. Let's hear it. I'm doing big man things. I need to make sure I don't hit anybody. No, but no! This here's the anthem. Doing big man things. Fable is the reason I'm here. You're fine. I love how he said sorry. Almost gets hit by the car, says sorry. <laughs> While I'm just barreling down the street. Uh, Ramen and also Loki, guys, thank you for the follows as well. Yeah, we just have to deliver the dog tags. Big man doing big man things. Let's see. Found a Canadian. <laughs> Found the Canadian. If you get the Mai Mai up to speed and take it across the bridge, then hit the ramps, hit off the ramps. It'll bounce off the side and you can always catch air with it and it'll flip like an eagle. Rafe, how did you find this out? Is this your car of choice too? You must be a Canadian. Uh, I always tell Jess that I'm an honorary Canadian with how much I say sorry. 
All right, we need to take these dog tags out. This is hard. I also feel like I would have been lying to her to let him go and not deliver the dog tags. Wait a minute. It's done. Reinder's dead. Mm. You didn't let us down, did you? See, I would feel so guilty right now if I hadn't. I never heard you say sorry, though. <laughs> never, ever. He's dead. Found Reiner in Pacifica. Dealt with him. Then the son of a bitch got what he deserved. On behalf of all the residents of the Stacks, thank you. It's the least I could do. I feel like I should know. I need to like look. I I should have my dog tag somewhere. V, the target is he terminated. Took care of him. Congratulations then. Contract closed. I need to do. You know, when I got out, I never did like a little presentation. Like I feel like I need a little shelf where I just have like some of my coins and the dog tags and everything just kind of hung up or something. This here's the anthem. All right, get closed. Not terminated. We do need to message read, but we're not going to do it yet. I know, handsome. That was the first. No, that wasn't the first time we saw him with his face. Sorry, eh? I don't think that was the first time, was it? Let's go see what else Aaron wants. Side mission continuing. Proper sorry, eh? Dead elf, hi. He didn't meet a friendship. Gosh, this is starting to look like we got a lot of stuff. Mm. The the gigs are incredible. No, it's why I actually am kind of looking at them equally to a side mission in a way. The side missions have a way of kind of popping back up. So they do feel lengthier, but in a really good way. Oh, baby. Each one feels, yes, absolutely, Camillo. I mean, they take a lot of time. I feel like we've, we haven't done a lot today. Yeah, Sunday we'll probably do a long one. Okay, let's see. No, 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 no. Virtue Genesis is pretty good. Is that... Okay. Not bad. That ain't bad. All right, Samurai for the win. When you say a boot, a wound in a boot. Oot in a boot. The mission after calling Reed is a long one. Yeah, we'll probably do that tomorrow then. So we're probably gonna do some side missions, fi finish up some gigs, and then once we call Reed for the next main mission. Cactus. Cactus, thank you so much. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs to the channel and community. Dude. Thank you so much. And if you just got a gifted sub from Cactus, I hope you give them a big thank you. Welcome back in. Thank you. The DLC will prove if Cast has the tendency to go dark or evil. You like that parking? Did you see that? That was not bad. Mm hmm. Or if you go out, it's oot in a boot. An oot in a boot. Hold on. You should just be up here. Okay, he's actually up above. What was that? It was a sick turnaround. I don't think we've ever tried to go up there, so I'm gonna go this way. Moose, loose, boot, the hoose. <laughs> the wee hoose, hoose and boost. The moose. Dude, moose are scary. We always, I die on this hill. Shot by both sides. There's a job, V. What? A journalist. Bree Whitney has fled into Dogtown. I need you to look after the her. The Mies? What's the gig exactly? I look like a nanny to you. You're asking me to babysit? You? No. Bree has a lead. You're to help her complete her investigation. There's a corp on her tail, as she put it. That is all she said. Miss Whitney seems to have some minor trust issues. Minor? Fair enough. Right, so, where am I meeting this mystery insistent? No, he has no sense of humor. You'll go to her apartment first, on Skyline West. You're to collect an electronic access card. And okay. no, do not say, this card, what's it open? I simply don't know. Contact <laughs> me once this is sorted. 
He's catching on to our humor, that. though. Oh my gosh, he's definitely catching on to our humor. London, thank you for the gift of sub to Notorious. Notorious, welcome back in. Hold on, where is this man? That's Scottish, the moose loose about a boot the hoofs. There's a definitely a little bit coming out there. I've been dazed and confused. Let's do, yeah, this one first. We might do dazed and confused. I think that one's pretty short. Got a bad feeling. Beanbag chairs just out to all the elements. Ew, these are probably soaked with water. Oh. Don't say they take them. Well, maybe they do take them in at night, but still. Just exposed to all the elements. Looking for someone? Hey, looking for someone. Name's Aaron. Jim's the happened? size of a Calcos truck. Should you choose? Wayne's, the boxer. Sure, he was here. Um. <laughs> okay. Was. The soggy bean bag. where he was going? Nah. Two guys came in to see him a while back. That's all. Two guys? That's not good. Tombs, clearly. Same vibe, just bigger than him. Animals. Not good. Seem to be going for a smoke in the alley. I still catch him. Eem gig. Yes. Marinus, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. What even? I'm trying just trying to figure out. Was this like confessions? What what was this? Is this like a I'm in dog town now. Wait a minute. Fuck. <gasps> no. Come on, V, take heart. Guy tried to do the right thing for once in his life. This is Kirk Scavenger. I can't help but you don't feel a thing. Heard this song before, V. Know the lyrics by heart. So I want everyone in their home to find a This was because I killed them. This was definitely them getting back at him after what I did. Oh, gosh. Right? We get one good ending and we get two bad endings. <sighs> that is horrible. Yeah. I killed them. Yeah. The word choice was a little sketchy. But yes, I did. That's why I think also now like I realize how much the gigs make a big difference in this and how you see it or like that was a side mission, but oh yeah. I mean, you have to be taking every single mission very serious, like listening to everything, choosing your, you just have to choose your choices very wisely because yeah, they're gonna come back to bite you. We're gonna go do another, I mean, he only has so many gigs to begin with. He only has 10 gigs anyway, and we're already done with six. That's horrible. Yeah, that choice is tough. Shame what happened to Aaron. I really wanted to help him too, and that's the sad part is like, in an effort to help him, I made things worse. Shame what happened to Aaron, but the boy knew the risk. He wasn't handling it too well. So his story probably would have ended it like that way. Thank you for trying. It does kind of remind me, um, I think there's a piece of this too where it's like the gigs you are being a hired mercenary and so if the mission is to kill somebody i find that there's there's still consequences right and like you still realize how difficult it's, it's got to be to be a merc but i think that those ones you don't have nearly as many um i guess aftershock situations whereas both with Aaron and with what I did with Hassan, we had follow up on, follow ups on those. And so I feel like almost in the side missions, you don't have like if you if you choose to not kill them, sometimes it will give you more. I don't want to say good endings, but you'll just have more pop up later that might not be as negative. Maybe Ashley, welcome back in. Hi, Hellcat, welcome back in too. Any animals like to kill anyone that says I see? Oh no. Oh no. I gotta go. Was this on a gig? He he was a gig. He wasn't a side mission. For some reason I thought he was a side mission. I really thought he was a side mission. He was a side mission that turned into He was a gig that turned into a side mission. 
Or was it always a gig to meet up with him after? Ashley, thanks for the hydrate. Mm-hmm. Bunny high. But the boy knew the risk. He wasn't handling it all too well. So his story would have ended like that either way. I think the the hard part about that too is he not only died, but he also lost the round. So he lost the round and then lost his life. Don't. The voice of the machine. The, those freak me out every time they're happening. Wait a minute. I want to go see what they are in the first place. Aren't they? Isn't that? It's an ammo cache. I guess I've never gone and explored them. Don't answer it. Don't actually answer. Rhetorical questions. Ah, I'm just thinking out loud. Hold on. Am I finally figuring out what these are? Blue Tendo, welcome back in. Oh my gosh, you probably had such a long flight. Yes. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gotta be some kind of like care package. Whoa, 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 sniper on, sniper on. Hold on. Hold up, wait, he just walked away? Never know, he didn't. Did you say the roommates are awesome? Oh yeah, I would not watch that. Jack in. Um, developments. The annoying noise that I thought was... <laughs> I don't know what I thought it was, but it might turn out to be something good. Netrunner experience and... Weapons. And goodies. All kinds of goodies. What have I been doing this whole time? Oh my goodness. Which one was it? Wasn't any of these. Was it called again? Oh, I think it was a, I think it was an assault rifle anyway. Was it the assault rifle? I think it was this guy. Dang, I've been missing out on stuff the whole time. Oh! I'm gonna need some new knees. Okay, you're right, it was a sniper. At least this was the last save. Good gravy, all right. Sparky, no, no, Sparky's what I have, Overwatch is what I have. It's this boy. Huh, weapon handling, attack speed. I don't know, guys. Well, Sparky's not even F++. I'll give it a go. I don't know, I'm not loving it, but am I, am I, oh, I'm over cucumbered, hold on. Wow, you guys must have really been trying to hold that one in. Mm-hmm. Um, let me go ahead and drop a save, too, before anything else happens. Oh, I can't save while I'm in time. Fair enough. All right, Grab let's. Some big guns. Who's firing at me, though? Where are they firing from? I don't know about this one. We'll see. I liked Sparky. Sparky had a little like punch to him, you know. How can? What the hell? Okay, let's see. But all good things must come to an end. What is this like? A oh. I'm not saying it's my favorite one, but... Okay, but being able to do back-to-back -back shots before you reload? I know, I'm always carrying too many cucumbers. I don't know, that might be really good. Uh, seems a bit OP. I know, Hellcat, I'm always carrying too many. Drop it, drop it. Low girl, drop it, drop it. <laughs> All right, let's go up here. 
Hmm, I finally found out about the loot boxes. I appreciate all, every single person who held off from saying anything because that was a long time, a little long time coming. Jay Riven and also Rots guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. I'm very impressed with you guys right now. It's not, it cannot almost, it can't already almost be five hours. He had an electrifying personality. I want to use this again. Hold on. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, but where did you come from, sir? I love it. Uh, I don't know if I'll stick with it forever. I will say that it doesn't have as much of a satisfying, like, hit. The redeeming quality is that you can go back to back to back. Damage is more than solid. That will do. That will do. But I still find... I find myself enjoying the snipes on my other weapon more. On Sparky. He was electric. It's electric. Talon Academy. In Luxor Heights, there's a... Let's call it a sports academy. Okay. Clients from all around the world come there to seek fresh talent. Contracts are signed while Almost taxes done with the main allegedly go unpaid. It so happens that my client doesn't like people who cut corners. With my Netrunner's help, you'll enter the facility and extract the data that's of import to my client. Godspeed. Yeah, I, I thought I, that was such a good way to put it. Um, thanks for one sharing that, but yeah, I thought it was... I think you can do three shots before you have to mark. I thought it was atmosphere too. Like, every time you heard the loot crates dropping, I really thought it was atmosphere, or I thought it was... I think I thought it was, um... Which doesn't make sense for Dogtown. But I guess I thought it was like the medical people coming down. We like sports and we don't care who knows. Yeah, Mr. Chill. The recoil of the head detachment. Yeah, I think like the... Yeah, I think that must be it. It must be something like that. It doesn't feel the same when you just separate a head from a body. Can you believe some people avoid paying their taxes? Shocking. I know. Someone needs to put a stop to it. Who is guilty of such heinous crimes, you might ask? Sports scouts who fly in from all across the globe to center run by Fiona Vargas. Vargas? They sign contracts with promising athletes, wear wire sizable transfers, and dodge taxes while they're at it. Our client isn't thrilled. You'll be acquiring any data linked to Fiona's clients and their contracts. Getting in won't be easy, which is why you'll have the best help from my Netrunner. My question is, where are the taxes going? Because we got more than a couple of potholes. We've got a little bit more than... I don't think this... It's not going back at all. Gamer, welcome back in. You know, that's not the worst idea. Target practice? No. Oh. What the hell? Hmm. Um, it's showing down. I need to get down into it. Oh my gosh. Hey, they were yellows? They weren't just anybody. They were clearly potential... Oh, toilets. It's nice of them to include that. Scrappy, thanks for the follow, welcome in. They... were obviously... Uh, combatants. In... If they had looked at me long enough. I don't think I know where I'm going. Oh, it's here. Should have brought a shovel, start digging. <laughs> Vibe, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Here we go. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Who's laughing at us? <laughs> That's just the post Taco Bell. I'm gonna let that one ride out. Okay, she should be here. He's fine. Your hand's Merc, right? How much you know about the job? I don't know, but I'd rather know about you. Hello? How about a hello? Oh, uh, hello. 
Or a what's your name? Here's a sitch. At this academy, they're training, molding young athletes. Folks flying from sorry. across the world to meet them, sign contracts. You're going in as a scout for the San Diego Shredders. <laughs> the Shredders. I'm Victoria Wilson, 28, and you're looking for a wide receiver. Wide receiver, got Scheduling it. Scheduling um, their system now. So one that throws the puck all this? into the goal? What? I follow. Got it. San Diego Shredders, Victoria Wilson, 28 years old, okay. looking for a wide receiver. Well done. Just remember mm. to keep a tight lip, no unnecessary chatter. I need to Once respect in, my coworkers. Find Fiona Varga's office, the Academy's director, and pull data on every scout who's ever signed a contract. Questions? Do you know how many HR complaints I got in Mass Effect? Who? Hands a True. tax collector now? Yeah, True. I ain't buying it. How about shitload of Eddie's collector? Sound more believable? Job isn't glamorous, but it pays. Tell me about my cover. Uh, cover story is a little thin. Ought to flesh it out, don't you think? This man is losing no his intestines. Your way in, nothing more. Beyond that, avoid any talk about yourself. Just blend in, get the data, and get out. Mm. <laughs> well? It's the duality in him. It's the laugh mixed with the clearly losing everything he has in his stomach. What's a sports academy doing in Dogtown? <laughs> ah, they're all over the world. They make athletes stronger, better. But if you want to enhance them earlier than the legal age limit, where would you go? Where no mm. one gives a shit. Dogtown. Or as it's more commonly known, Dogtown. <laughs> Whatever Hansen says, goes. And nobody gives a fuck about the rest. Again, I think that this should be a romance option. All clear. Great. Quick scan and from the <laughs> you're good to go. After you, right. Victoria Wilson. Thank so you. So he's a gentleman now. Who'd have thought? Later. Wait, there's some there's some chemistry there. There's some banter. Hold on, run it back. Run it back like a wide receiver. What is a red? What uh, what does a wide receiver do? Well, <laughs> we need to find this man. <laughs> I know, I know they do sports ball. I think the person we're looking for is up here. I think it's this... Is it... I don't think it's... Catches passes. <laughs> Who is this guy laughing? <laughs> the widest guy who receives things they're one of the catchers they like run out there and they're they're prepping to catch um is it one of these guys is it it's not him <laughs> no, it's definitely not him. Even the sound sounds like. <laughs> or is it? Do you think it's him? <laughs> I can't be too sure. I don't think so. I don't understand. He, oh, he could be a. I think above it's close. I need to know. All signs point to him. Something's skittering there. Nope, not him. Not him. Not him. I just want to know. I just want to make sure he's okay. Do you think he's in one of these boxes? I just want to honestly know if he's okay. They stole your Taco Bell. I don't know. I don't think we'll ever find him. 
Mm. Oh no, it's getting close to nine, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Sunburn Ginger, thank you for 25 months of continual support as well and welcome back in. How are you? Okay, we should be good. All right, let me put the gun away. Doesn't exactly say scout. Sports scout, sports ball scout. Kill him and see if the laugh continues. Yeah, but I don't, I don't really think it was him. The laughing was because they can't believe it's not butter. Personnel only. Oh, I like the Hello. use of LEDs. Oh, welcome, Mrs. Wilson. If you'll join me, please. You're all set for yes. Uh, what is it? Everything you see here is protected under an NDA. Should, you Should any information? Oh, fuck it down. Okay, okay. They, <laughs> they don't. Okay, they don't. Okay, they don't like you trying to go for the loot. We're just gonna do that again. Uh, wait for later. Okay. That's uh, entirely on me. On me. I got a little green. It was a little bit of green. A little bit of green. Welcome, I saw the red. Wilson. If you'll join me, please. Yes. Um, what is it? Everything you see here is protected under an NDA. Should any information about our athletes be made public, our contract with the Diego Shredders will be terminated, effective immediately. Ouch, sounds serious. If I may, I suggest you start your visit at our world-class bar. Drinks are on the house. Well then, the got my first up mission first. for you. Need you to neutralize three shots of tequila, stat. Hello? I'd like to meet Atletico Dr. Barcelona. Fiona. What are Who's these bots for? These bots? Our verbal motoric integrated interface is oh. used by scouts such as yourself remotely from Asia, Europe, That's Africa. Cool. Since not everyone can make a personal appearance in Dogtown, we've provided a solution. He was bored for this role. I'd like to speak with Dr. Fiona Vargas in private. Hmm. Without an appointment, I'm afraid that won't be possible. We didn't possible. think to make an appointment? Seems kind of ridiculous. All right, neuromotor development, personnel. <gasps> nice, burger. I definitely saw we all, oh, burger sounds so. Something's wrong. Let's act cool. Act cool, be normal. He's in athlete's feet, they're kids. Kids way too young for this kind of crap. Oh my gosh. See that, Johnny? Heartless Ladies and fucks. gentlemen, the next junior for the 2077-2078 season is Friendly Katie from McCannon. China. Soccer? Katie is a young but extremely talented soccer player. Top scoring position, midfielder. This She's is crazy. Excellent growth. Um, let's talk to the bartender. If you're interested in Katie, please see our starting offer. If you're interested in Katie. I didn't even think about how sports play into this kind of world and this realm. Little Hootie, thank you for 15 months as well and welcome back in. Our next athlete, whom you'll have the pleasure of meeting, is Kelvin, Kelvin Golden. Golden Kelvin is a dyed-in-the-wool fighter with an instant knockout punch. Two -thirds of all his Dr. Fiona make an appearance. I don't want to be too direct with these questions. Nah, she's not really the type to make. Her first sitting cooped up in her office downstairs. Okay, that's a little bit of a hint. These uh, showcases happen often? Only when Dr. Vargas thinks an athlete's worth showing off, which is pretty often. Are they just picking these kids off of the streets? I know, the sushi did look good. No, fight the urge that I've become like Johnny. No booze, thanks. Make it an I cola. And the statistics are live. First time I take it, you'll see another. Which team are you scouting for? Shredders. I'm with the San Diego Shredders. Scouting for a wide receiver. You say the Shredders? Oh no. Small world. I'm Caden. Worked with Tomas two seasons back. Vicky Wilson. And another. Wait. Shopping for another whiteout after re-signing your franchise stats leader? 
Batman's an all-time deep threat. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh. Uh. If life's taught me anything, another... it's not to talk to folks I don't know about bits that ain't theirs. Oh. Sorry, pal. Don't take it personal. <laughs> Bill, I think our friend here needs something stronger. Hey. Loosen up. Work on your own drink, pal. Yo, yo, yeah. have a good one. Thanks for hanging Fuck around. Yourself, too. What the? That was tempered glass. Oh my gosh. Oh, what I wouldn't give to know if you this secret. I was Sorry, about. I have to close the bar Forgive for a second. Me, ladies and gentlemen, but due to damaged equipment, this athlete showcases. So they have Now's to pause every. Chance to sneak behind the scenes yeah. of this fucking circus. I know. Then you want to fight everybody, right? <laughs> yeah. I want to see what the. Johnny asking me to leave the bar. Let's do this one. I'm like what I see. Bought the kids from their parents and auctioned them off. I'm sure that's a part of it. Just saw a fire. Gotta have. What? MMA. Sure. Yeah, got all the data. Yeah. Just to stack up their rosters. Oh, okay. I do like these plans. Yeah, okay. Not the right time, but I will say that the. It's like a little too. I like that it's not the normal. Black and white mixed with gold. Like, I think there's like a bluish hue to it, and I kind of like that. The blue with the gold. Athlete number Kelvin Strickland. Okay, oh, oh. Shh. Okay, shh. Okay. I think just because I have the camo, this is working. Also, Kiss, thank you for 10 months too, and welcome back in as well. I feel very focused on this. Lamba, have a good night as well. Guys, thank you so much for hanging around, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's 12. We're doing an early stream tomorrow. I'm gonna turn that off. This is gonna be one hell of a mission to end on to. What is that? Okay, a distraction for enemies. We'll wait till I get my, um, my ability to go camo again. All right. This is actually a lot of gigs, though, especially considering their gigs are. You need to find somewhere else to take a break. Oh, no. All right, we need to find her office specifically. Okay, there's that person. I can go up behind him. Got him. Got him. Non-lethals. We'll go non-lethals. And is there a camera in here? No. I can't believe it. We're stealthing. We're stealthing. We're stealthing. Synthetic skeletal system. 11 years old. Shum, listen, I'd hold out on chipping in the skeletal muscle implant because according to the latest research, it's better to, for kids to recreate nerve connections after an injury using their own muscles. The latest research? There's no research apart from the kind Fiona does, and the results speak for themselves. Why waste time recreating nerve connections that you'll have to recalibrate with new muscles anyway? This week we're chipping that kid. No point on waiting for another injury to happen. Athletes evaluations, mental state, very good. Developmental prospects, this is sickening. Mental state, worrying, depression, despite constant AI driven psychological care. Developmental prospects, none. Opinion of Dr. Fiona, let go. This person, good. Developmental prospects, unoptimistic, let go. Also, I am Stone. Thank you for the five gifted subs to the channel and community and see Shanti. Thank you for the follow. Stone, I see it's your first time and you're paying forward your gifted sub. Thank you so much for giving to other people. I really appreciate that. And Childish got one. I wonder if Childish is here. Yeah, this is really hard for me to read. We'll go network. At least we can turn this off. Stealth with Metal Gear. I don't know. I don't have this like burning desire. I don't know. There's other games that I think I'd be more interested in first. All right, we just got another scare. Thank you, Storm. Bear. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're good, we're good. 
I need to relax. Hmm. Nelman, yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, you friendly stream tomorrow. Get some sleep. Because we're going to be doing, it sounds like we'll be doing a long mission, so it'll be good. I wish I could, can I open doors? Dang it, I wish I had the one where you could open doors. Because I think if we could do that, we could, like, as it is. Pick up the body, pick up the body. They didn't see Jack. Go, 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 go. Okay, that was a close one. We can't have any more like that. Splinter cell has to happen. We need to dump the body. Also, amazing stuff. All right, drop him. And breathe. And crouch. And breathe. <sighs> of course they didn't see anything. He's dead. It's almost back up. But one of them might be down there. Spock, what's up? Welcome in. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Chaos theory. That could be fun. Two people, two people, I can't do that. Two people, oh. Okay, I can't open this. <gasps> I need to wait to get it back and then assassinate that guy. Aurora, thanks for the hydrate. Doing it stealth just means you have to take more time, though. You know what I mean? Oh, original chocolate cake. Wait. I read that as chocolate cake. That's not what that is. But original welcome in its spot, guys. Thank you for the follows. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Although it's saying I think we need to go downstairs after all. I think we were in the right area. I forgot... When I'm crouched, if I speed up, I can get a little bit of a, of a boost. It'll be absolute chaos in two minutes. No. Not a fact. Dang it. I need brute force. Oh, there's another person. No. I need it. Try a minute and a half. Uh, ah! I've been gone. Oh, oh no. Thanks. You jinxed it. You jinxed it. Go, go, go. You need to open that door if you want to. Oh no, but he's defeated by a door. What will he do? <laughs> Not bad. And so the chaos begins. And here we go. Oh, she's buying glass. Oh, that's a separate security system. That's why. A little bit of a separate one, too. That's not good. That's not good. I recently replayed the game only using cybernetic powers. That's impressive. That is impressive. Still should be able to find her office, right? Darn it. It's got... I... I was just looking for a... It's all right. I should have let him talk. Oh, shoot. I saw the X, but we might still be able to talk to him. He's looking for something. What in the... Come out, come out. Tommy, out now. Wait, uh, she was just looking for your office. Uh, I, I was just trying to help. Uh, please, Miss Fiona. Leave the boy out of this, please. R uh, don't worry, Tommy. Run along now, Tommy. Hop to it. But... I didn't do nothing wrong. It's all no. right, Tommy. Go back to your room. It still can't assault. We're reasonable people. I'm sure we can work something out. 
Hmm. What is it you want? What is it that we want? Oh, thanks for tracing my location. Want to burn this place to the fucking ground? A to the fucking men. I understand you're upset, but let's talk this through. You connected to a terminal containing my client's data, correct? Hmm. Uh, what do you intend to do with it? You know exactly what. Got it backwards. I'm the one asking questions. Tommy is definitely running towards it, yeah. I have a duty to protect my business and my clients. You understand that, I'm sure. Business? <laughs> the fucking gall. Think of the children. Would you really deprive them of their only chance for a better life? Just gets better and better, this bitch. If you please, just hear me out. I'd like to make you an offer. I'll make you a counteroffer. Oh? Get fucked. N no need to get emotional. Uh, let's I, be professional about this. Shut her voice up sounds so... Access. You'll be destroying everything I've built. That's a fucking idea. Access, now. Fine. Here. Her voice is so unsteady. Whoa. Oh, I thought you disappeared for a second. Okay, let's go into the office. That's all we need. Oh, wait, wait. Download the data first, and then we'll take the elevator further down, maybe? Yeah, this mission's really difficult. How can she You'll sit there? You'll regret this sooner than you think. Now you want to threaten me. Data received. Let's I can't not make this any longer than it needs to be. What do you mean? I, I can't see what he said. Let's not make this any longer than it needs I'm leaving to it just because I'd rather her get buried by everything we're about to frickin' expose. It's better than killing her. Texas. Oh, snap. Texas Tramp, thank you so much for 37, over three years. And at tier three as well. Thank you. All units report. How you doing, Tramp? No fucking cowards in my squad! If I was a fucking loser, where would I hide? Wow, great insult. Just for that, ma'am. Fuck! I'm gonna hit her a thousand times, hold on. I didn't do it. Position lost! Hold on. Roasted. No, Don't say okay. roasted. Don't give her that. That was bad. Jam session, welcome back in. You know, the other aspect about that too is like, because I was trying to go, someone trying to fight me, Melee? Because I was trying to be stealthy, there were probably a lot of things that we even missed. Like more computers or terminals that we could have seen that told us even more. Not that I wanted to really read much more about what was going on there, but like, I feel like we just scratched the surface with how messed up it is. Right in the mainstream. <laughs> This is so beautiful. I don't hear the guy. Is that that same girl? That's her, isn't it? Take her down! Hmm. I know, I know. Honestly, the damage on it is massive too. But once again, it's kind of one of those situations that they're, they just really think about so many different things that really would be going on most likely in this city. Like the variety in the gigs and main missions and side missions, like as screwed up as a lot of them are, it's like they've thought out some of the worst scenarios. Yeah, Devik, hi. What was it? I missed it. Leave the center. I, I guess I just need to leave even further. I could have ran away, but I just want to take them all out. I want to see what he says about this. Nicely done, <gasps> go, 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 go. You, our Europeans can make sure tax evaders don't go unpunished. You knew the athletes were kids. Chip and kids there? 
Why so dramatic? It's an open secret by now. Everyone knows what goes on there. Do you care? If you should have killed her. Your sense of moral decency, I do apologize. Contract closed. Until the next time, V. Until the next time. He knew. So was I just naive for not? I mean, Mr. Mr. Hands is like never, never pretending to be a good guy per se. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's another long one. I didn't even realize. Like, I think some of my shorter ones are still like three hour, three hour ordeals. Yeah, actually, that's a really galactic. You're not wrong, especially with grades and everything and. It's like hard enough to have your own pressures, but then even just um, pressures, outside pressures, parental pressures, all of it. But like you said, it pushes it to a whole nother level. He's a businessman first, absolutely. Yeah, he sees a lot of crap. Starts to compartmentalize it. You'd have to in his position. Yeah. Well, because his role is a middleman, right? I mean, people come to him, asking him to find the right merc come or person on. to take on the task. You so they put their trust in oh. him, thinking he can deliver results. So he also has to not only find people that he trusts, but also deliver to a client. He probably has zero attachments to anything that he really does. I mean, because you even saw right there, think about the compartmentalization behind that. That man has a child. Like, we heard him talking to his daughter at the start of before we met him, which is another important reason that, like, I sleuth before I talk to somebody or see something. Um, because even that, like, we got this small context that, like, he has his own daughter. He has his own family. Um, but that's, like, how far the compartmentalization is between that. Like, he knows the mission and what's going on here, and he doesn't see it as, like, his daughter. Yeah, this one is good. But we've got more stuff here. All right, what do we pick up? Biocheck carrying capacity shard. My carrying capacity increased. Archived conversation. Implants Kyle ordered for recruits. He hasn't come to pick them up. Send them to storage. The newbies are waiting on their gear to start. Meaning too new expansive. And that's not going to install. If they fire anyone, it will be Kyle for misallocation of bar guest resources. More cucumbers. I don't think we got any weapons on this one, though, but I do like that all of these give you additional stuff, including, like, I think you're get picking up the perks from them. I'll try to slow down and look at them before I just go, goodies, goodies. I get, like, overwhelmed with the goodies, and I'm like, grab, 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 grab. Yeah. Like, a psycho, yeah, psychological. If you get too attached, to, and yeah. You always have to remove yourself. That is a really good point. I mean, there's there's a fair amount of careers where you really do have to compartmentalize. Like, you go home at night and you have to not let anything that, yeah, especially that you've heard or seen carry on. People that work in surgeries, people that work in medical, psychologists, like you said. You're getting an insight into some people's most vulnerable thoughts. And that's a lot. Like, it's hard enough to juggle your own uncertainty and find your way through the map of your own mind let alone being exposed to somebody else's and like yeah i cannot imagine cat cat welcome it by the way oh dlc is good dlc is good it's still you know it's it's the darkness of night city but it's still very very good uh no but you can send something to one of the mods yeah Oh, that is such a... I don't want to end on that note because that is very... That was a very hard mission. Dazed and confused. But that's another... All of these... None of these are exactly like a... Maybe we can see... Roach race? Bar guest. <laughs> like, timely exposed, God. It's amazing to hear you so... Um in love with what you do though, because I think that it means I feel like you'll be able to help more people because you do care about it so much. Mm. Okay, 
I kind of want to find one more drop down thing. Maybe that's what we'll end on. Do they happen randomly or are they location based? I think I heard him. Oh my god. Are you? There. What is this? No, Sir Smokes. No. I'm sorry to hear that. That is like I would I would put the game down for a couple years and then I'd come back later. I'm sorry to hear that. How did you lose all the progress? 150 hours gone. How did you even lose that? Oh, floppy pickle. Yes, yes, it's a floppy pickle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a floppy pickle. <laughs> James, you're like, I'm sorry. Hi. I know it's nine o'clock. I know you want to go bed. I know. Oh, Valentino, thank you for the follow as well. Come here. Come here. Come give me cuddles. I think it's right. Also, though, what the heck is happening here? Point blank headshot, bruising on the wrist. What corruption is this? She does. She does. Mmm. Mmm. I'm so hungry, though. Okay, what? Sorry, are they, are they random? 150 hours? Hi. Oh, I know. I gotta put ointment. Grumpy girl. You gotta put ointment on her eye. She scratched her back claw. I forgot to trim them more recently. And so her back claw like hit her eye like above it. And so she's kind of squinty. We got to put some ointment on it. Yeah, she needs eye ointment. 9 p.m. You sleep early. Um, I mean, normally it's just because I take like an hour or two to decompress and just slow down before I go to bed. But yeah, but I get up really early. So it's because I get up early. Uh, Slim, thank you for the follow as well. And male nurse, thank you for 10 months of continual support as well. I know, can you say thank you? Say thank you. I know. Full screen, full screen ginky. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let me alt tab. She is, she wants bedtime. No, this is a good place to stop too. London, London, thank you so much for the three gifted subs to the channel. Um, plus I'll be back in no time. So we're starting tomorrow at 12. So we'll be back in like a jiffy. Right, Ginger? We'll be back in a jiffy. Look at her eye. You can see her one eye. It's a little bit more squinty. London, thank you. And male nurse, thank you for 10 months of continual support as well. I know. You're just doing cuddles. Cuddle sessions. Guys, thank you so much for an incredible stream. She's a small right cat tonight. doing small cat we'll grab thing. Some food. And we're gonna put her eye ointment on. Yeah. She's just feeling a little tired. Yeah, your eye hurts. Her eye hurts. Tomorrow, we will be back tomorrow. A small cat doing small cat thing. Are you a small cat? Are you a small cat? Oh, look, you can see it. It's red. It's kind of red. Yes, I will be back tomorrow, guys. 12 p.m. 12, yeah, 12 p.m. Back tomorrow, 12 p.m. We will probably clean up that one other gig because we're getting close to the end of his gigs. Actually, no, let's start with the side mission or should we text Reed? Let's do main mission first because you said it's a long one. So we're going to start with texting Reed right at 12. Sorry, my mic's kind of far away from me, but yes, I'm going to miss main missions tomorrow. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm doing an early stream tomorrow and then no Saturday stream, but Sunday will probably, I don't know. Do you guys think I can complete the DLC by Sunday? Yeah, thank you guys so much for all of your time. Absolutely, thank you for your time more than anything. And Camillo, thank you for the follow as well. Not right at 12, it'll be more like one. Let's be honest, look, she's so cool. It'll be more unlikely, maybe, hmm, okay. Probably not, great stream to come back to, happy to be back. Well, I don't wanna rush it, so I'm not thinking about it in my head, but maybe if we do a longer one, or maybe if we do, um, maybe by Monday, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I do feel like we are kind of getting closer to the end, right? Not typical cast of paste. <laughs> okay, so it's not. No, that's fine. I figured we would have about another week of the game anyway, if I'm actually taking my time, which I want to. So, Cobra, I'm like halfway between my normal voice and my ginger voice. I'm trying to be more quiet for her. Amish, 
Amish, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community as well. Trev, good night. Anybody that gifted a sub or got a gifted sub, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for everybody who gifted a sub. Um, other than that, the next episode of Final Fantasy went up tonight, and tomorrow will be another side. If you're not big into Final Fantasy, but you liked Florence, there's another really good, heartbreaking, emotional game dropping tomorrow at 4 p.m. as well. And then other than that, I'll see you guys at 12. Was the at 12? Was he midwell? She's like slowly going down. She's gonna cry. Yeah, she's getting mad. She's getting mad. She says, I want to go to bed. Yes, crate also. Spazzy, thank you so much. Spazzy, have a good one. These scratchies, look at her eye. I need to go give up an ointment on this. Okay, Trev, good night. DC, good night. Virgo, good night. Thank you so much for being here. I know, she's so upset. Uh, Bunny, good night as well. Wraith, good night. London, good night. Ren, good night. Tay, good night. Retro, classy. Camilla, um, Camilo, Camilo, that's what it is. Clowns, Don Will, thank you for the follow. And anybody who stuck around from the raid, and a big thank you to Jamie for the raid as well. Cyanide, good night. QJ, good night. Thus, good night. I know. Say goodbye. All right, we're going to go pull an ointment on. Ducky Roo, good night. Nat, good night. Yanks, good night. And I hope you guys have a good Friday. And we're going to kick it off right tomorrow with some more cyberpunk. Yeah. Small cat doing small cat things. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. Good night.